Hello everyone, so we've been having some really bad weather today and it's currently decided to storm as well. It has changed, thank you. Uh, it's currently decided to storm. So we're gonna we're gonna go as quick as we can and see if we can get through it all in one piece. So um yeah, so sorry that we, we disappeared and we've come back. I have reposted the new link in my Discord, but for anyone else who isn't around that is that's not that's not ideal is it how you doing laggy yeah how was your stream dylan i'm doing good thank you wild how are you doing welcome in oh gosh uh the kiss that broke the internet did it end with kiss as well like i think i said kiss and radical said that was the last thing i said i'm so sorry i don't know what i've missed i don't know what has hey well done Salaki. i appreciate you uh well, well done that's so good. I hope you're going to celebrate. Go and do a long drive to celebrate. Well done, though. That's incredible. Good job. Good job. Um, sorry, everyone. Mine was really great. Enjoyed myself hard. Game puzzles that felt great about solving quickly like the gamer I am. Well done. I'm proud of you. You were blowing Kyle a kiss. Oh, no. Um, maybe post link to new one as a comment on old video. Oh, I did just try that, but I couldn't. It wouldn't let me. Um because it was still counting as a live video. Uh, let me see if I can do that. Uh, here it is, back up now. For anyone who lost the stream, here's the new one. There we go. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> we can't bongo bats in chat, but yeah, all the bongo bats for you, Salagi. Uh, so, apologies for that. I'm going to try and get through this a little bit faster so that we can get through the internet because... Get through the internet? Get through without losing internet because it is like storming. It is storming over here. I'm sorry, I'll stop with the accent. Bongo bats! Thank you, Nira, for the bongo bats. Okay, so we're at this point now and if you know what you've missed... That's good. Um, I can't remember what happened. Stormin' Norman. Uh, is it called Storm Norman? I bet it would be. But it's Stormin' Norman. <laughs> hey Jack, how are you doing? Welcome in. I hope you're well. I know I'll play the game at some point again with the new in love interest. Tell me when you do, Stan. Embrasure, hello, how are you doing? I'm sorry if I've mispronounced your name. Um, okay. Here we go. I can't remember what we missed out. I'm very, very sorry. But please bear with me. <laughs> because... It is what it is. Okay. Um, oh, B has said that she's most into this dude, Liam. That's what I think you missed. And he liked the fact that we kissed back at him. And I'm not upset about it. I think he's going to be lively. Liam fist pumps the air. I'm not surprised at all. Okay, but can we tone it down a bit, please? Sorry, just excited is all. Last but not least, Max, it's your turn. Well, Luna, you're absolutely gorgeous. But then again, so are you, Scarlet. And Claudia and Bea are pretty stunning too. How does that fence you're sitting on feel, Max? Uh, but if I had to pick, it would be uh, you, Luna. Good boy, correct answer. Kyle takes, an out. Kyle takes out another challenge card. Oh, I think blank can't keep a secret. This one might ruffle a few feathers. It's a juicy one for sure. I cannot keep these accents straight. Kyle, you're the messenger. You should go first. Oh man, if I had to pick just based on first impressions, I'm going to go for you, B. More reason for us to dislike B. Why me? You seem like someone not far from the goss. That's fair, but I've already kept a few secrets in the villa already. Oh really? Tell us more. And ruin my sexy, mysterious vibe? Who that be? Or the tea spiller, Kyle? Nah, it's definitely you, Liam. Why do we need to weigh in on this? Well, it's Luna, actually. I think Luna can't keep a secret. I was just thinking that, Joey. I was just thinking that. 
I was just thinking that. I'm doing good. I'm your biggest fan. Well, hello. Welcome in, my biggest fan. I hope you are doing well. Oh, Robert, I'm sorry. It's so strange in the UK at the moment. Got it. Thank you, Stan. I appreciate that. You don't like his pot noodle fringe? Okay, I need to keep an eye out for this. This fellow has very similar tattoos on his neck to ones I want. I haven't even noticed his neck tattoos. All I noticed was his, he's got a, a heart on his heart, which I, I don't know. I don't... I don't know my opinion on just yet, but I'll have a look at his neck tattoos. Or oh, is that a power cut here? When did you have it, Jack? I'll tell you what, if I have a power cut anytime soon, I might cry. If it, if it goes out again, I'll probably... I don't know, what do I do? Do I save it for another day? Maybe. Interesting you say that, Scarlet. I can't wait for my turn now. Luna looks directly at you. I think Scarlet's the one that can't keep a secret. I'm gonna own it just because I don't care what she says about me. What can I say? I just love the tea. Also, sometimes people need to know. Respect for owning it, I guess. I've got nothing to hide. Max pulls out another challenge card. Oh, this is a good one, ladies and gents. I want to share a bed with blank. That's a spicy one for sure. I think this is a question for the girls to think about. Yeah, since us boys are single Pringles. Scarlet's a single Pringle since Tyler got dumped. I am ready to mingle. I don't like Liam. I really dislike Liam. You got that right. Single and ready to mingle. Music to our ears. Pasta is heating up already, Scarlet. Hey, I'm single too. Hopefully not for long. Anyway, about those sleeping arrangements. I think we're going to keep you in suspense for a bit longer, boys. We'll let you know later on. Yeah, let's go talk about these boys somewhere they can't hear us. Before that, there's one last card here. Let's do it. I think blank is the best kisser. But no one here has kissed any of you boys. We barely know you at all. Do we do it? Do we kiss someone? I'm gonna do a poll. I'm gonna do a poll. Wild, trust me, I'm going mad. <laughs> do we kiss a boy? A boys? A boy? Yes or no? Please feel free to vote in the poll. Um. Oh, Buckinghamshire, you're affected quite a lot. Oh, Robert, I hope it stabilizes for you. Liam has nice trousers. That's the only compliment I can think of. He has nice trousers, but he hasn't paired it very well. Here's Sean for the drama. I would happily make drama. Give a big sloppy wet one. Should we get Alfie up here to start voicing some of the characters? <laughs> the rain is so bad where I am too. I don't know if you can get Sims 4 on your iPad. I'm so sorry, Embrasia. I wish you could. Only compliment. Only compliment. You say... Right, you say... Keep a spreadsheet. What on earth are my notes? Right, I think I can show you this very, very quickly. Look. I have a little tally. Right there. Of where everyone is. Sorry, my autofocus is not on. Okay, 100% of you have said yes. Are you kidding me? 23 of you have voted and you've all said yes. Well, in that case, it looks like we're going to kiss one of the boys. Thank you, everyone, for voted. For voted? For voted? i definitely like to throw something else out there. And ramp this game up another notch. You walk back and forth in front of the boys, relishing being centre stage. We're all ears for you, Scarlet. I can't wait to see what you've got up your sleeve. You look around everyone, umping up the excitement. The boy I want to kiss right now is... Better not be my name coming out of your mouth, Scarlet. There's only one girl I want to be kissing. And her name begins with B. Well, that kind of doubles up as her whole name too. Anyway. You, you were saying what boy you wanted to kiss, Scarlet? 
Okay, well, apparently we can't kiss Liam, but thank goodness for that because Liam is not my type. Who do we kiss? Now is your chance to vote, everyone. So do we go for Sean? Do we go for Kyle? Or do we go for the maximum of, of, of Max? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't like Liam. I don't like Liam. I don't like him. Uh, it's weird that all the boys have different art styles. Liam looks like he belongs in season four. I feel like surely they've just got uh, different people to make all the models. Like, I don't think it's one artist who is like making all of the people or like they're not even in the team. Sean is from Atlanta. They're not even in the like same like part of the company. I don't know. It's a bit weird. I don't, I don't get it. Thank you, Wild. I appreciate you. <laughs> Which one is the Scouser so we can get some Scouse love? Scouse is, right, I'll give you the, I'll give you the, Max is Liverpool. Um, Kyle is Swansea. Liam uh, is Oxford, I'm not even gonna write his name. And um, Georgia, Sean is from Georgia. Hopefully that helps. I know nothing about these boys. I'm voting based off the accent you gave. Thank you. You should kiss him, make her mad. I wish, but unfortunately, uh, floor, floor. unfortunately, we do not have the choice. Liam needs to be checked. His attitude isn't it. I fully agree with you, Chris. I fully agree with you. Liam is almost as bad as Hamish. Have I met Hamish in a game yet? Oh, it's neck and neck. Sean versus Max, if you haven't yet voted. You want to decide who we're kissing? Vote in the poll. Liam does definitely need a therapist. Guys, please pick Sean. I I don't mind. Sean is definitely a good accent, though. I will say that much. They had three artists uh, or so for season two, but the workflow was more character designers and then sometimes a different expression artist for versioning. Yes, but they'd have to stay on model. See, that makes sense, though. You haven't met Hamish yet, if I remember correctly. I don't feel like I should. Is he Scottish? Because Hamish is quite a Scottish name, right? Uh, I don't see any option to kiss the viewers. <laughs> Liam eats the green bit of strawberries and makes it his whole personality. He eats the skin on a kiwi. Are you kidding? Are you kiwi then? He's like definitely like, I don't waste the fruit. I don't. I eat the rind of a pomegranate in the morning. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm gonna call the... Every time I go to call the poll, it ties back up. He definitely peels his apples. Like, he's got a dedicated peeler, you know? Oh, There are very few fuzzy things I'd allow in my mouth. Please don't let it be a kiwi. There is fewer things I can think of that are worse than eating kiwi skin. That is my favorite insult of all time. He looks like he peels his apples. Alfie and I like to walk down the street and like um, make guesses about people's lifestyles. And we'll say like, I bet she dry cleans her ironing board cover. Or I bet they uh, kiss their dog on the tip of their tail every night. I don't know, something like weird. We just make observations. But next time we're out, I'm definitely gonna find someone who looks like they peel their apples. Don't you worry. Liam's got small kiwis. I don't blame you, Wild. I don't blame you. Max reminds me of, oh, my neighbor, Farmer Will. Your neighbor, Farmer Will? Are you neighbors with Farmer Will? Did you know why seasons one, two, three, they removed him? Because the artist got copyrighted. Is that true? I thought it was because they were moving over the app. Hi, Violet, by the way. Yeah, bet you she irons her socks before bed. See, that is exactly it, Dylan. That's the game. That's the game. I like doing that, but I come up with full life stories of how they got to where they are right now. That's so true. That's so true. Alfie, don't out me. <laughs> I bet she dry cleans her ironing board cover. Come on, do you not? Just kidding, just kidding. That's what I heard, but I don't think it's true. I don't know, you know. I, I haven't speculated. All I know is what I'm going off of the app. Will was in year 11 when I was in year seven. You went to the high, same high school, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, I hope it was a good high school. Don't tell me if, unless you, fully consent and you're over the age of 18. Do not tell me what high school you went to or go to. Um, the software that was supported the UI had lapsed and shut down so they could no longer keep it up. That's such a shame. It's such a shame. Okay. 
Sean and Max have tied. If people who have voted Kyle can change their answer, that would be great. And if you can't, I'll just have to pick. I'll roll a dice. If it lands on evens, we'll go one thing. If it lands on odds, we'll go for another one. Okay. I've got I've got a die. We're gonna roll evens or odds. <laughs> yeah, bet you he kisses with his eyes open. That's exactly what we do. And it's really fun and I highly recommend it. Just don't let them overhear you because that's not fun. Let's not bully anyone. Let's just, just make nice creative story decisions. It's a third party source, not Fusebox, that supported their UI. That's the one, Joey. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna go. Evens for Sean's. Max is for odds, because Max is odd. Right, here we go. I want to change my vote. I, oh, I won't change my vote. Sean? Danny, sorry, you're saying you're changing your vote for Sean? Okay. Okay. Hopefully we get Sean. Evens for Sean. We got evens. We got a two. Can you even see that? Can you trust me? It's a two, please. Okay. We're going for Sean, everyone. Sorry, everyone who voted Max. Sean. Right now, huh? What can I say? I'm always living in the moment. Sean, Sean moves a little closer to you. I definitely like the sound of that. You place a hand lightly on Sean's chest and giggle in response. <laughs> you notice the other girls staring at you open-mouthed at your audacity. I think I made the right decision picking you. I think you did too. John flashes you a very flirty smile. Well, I'm gonna snog him. Is that the most nerdiest thing I've ever said in my life? You pull Sean into you, your eyes locked on his. Maybe she does kiss with her eyes open. You, full, you, you feel his hands resting on your waist as he leans down to kiss you. You run one hand lightly down his back, feeling goosebumps shoot up along his ripped muscles. You run your other hand across his neck as your lips meet, softly at first, but quickly growing in passion. He holds you firmly as your kiss becomes more intense, your tongues meet fleetingly. You squeeze his back harder as you pull him in tighter towards you, your body pressed against his. Before you can both get carried away, you pull back, drawing the kiss to a close. You peck him once more on the lips. Wow, Scarlet, that was a that was some kiss. You notice that Max and Kyle both look green with envy. Feel like you've stolen the limelight, all eyes on you, thank goodness. You wink at them as you step back towards the others. Sparks were flying there. Right, did someone turn the heat up or something? For sure, you can hardly deny that chemistry. It's all part of the game. Yeah, of course, the game. What is this accent? Where is he from? Uh, bless your heart. Yeah, of course, the game. Do people, do people say course? They're southern. Yeah, of course, the game. <laughs> I've lost it. That was so bold of you, Scarlet. I don't think anyone's gonna forget that in a hurry. You wink at Sean and blow him a kiss. I think that's a great place to end the game. This has been fun, boys. But we should get ready for our first night in Casa Amor. Can't wait to see what you ha can't wait to see what you have planned. Yeah, the steak can only get better. Bring on Bring on the bedroom fun. See you soon, B. Let's hit the dressing room, girls. Meeting the boys was so much fun. It was definitely interesting. Are you feeling anyone in particular, B? I know he came on pretty strong, but I did like Liam. Really? I don't get him at all. I thought he was kind of rude. He was super, super into me though, and I like that passion. Fair enough, I guess. Who have you got your eye on, Scarlet? Liam. Liam definitely caught my eye too. Really, after basically proposing to be? Yeah, I'm kind of surprised by that answer. I liked his energy also, and a challenge. I think anyone has the potential to have their head turned. Who have you set your sights on, Luna? 
I'm also kind of intrigued by Liam. How does that make you feel, Scarlet? Not fussed at all. I'm not fussed at all, to be honest. Claudia, we all want to know what you're thinking. How are you feeling about the boys? They definitely seem like cool guys, but no one's completely blown me away. They'll have to try a little harder. I hear that. We should go and get changed for bed. Yeah, we need to pick out the perfect first night PJs. What are you all going to wear? Something cute, but sexy. I agree with that. What fit are you thinking, Scarlet? You have a look at the options and try something on. What are they going to get? Okay, wow. We have strategically placed leaves, everyone. Strategically placed leaves. Yes, that is such a good look for you. You look amazing. The boys won't know where to look. I'm feeling inspired by your choice. I'm not going to wear that because I don't want to pay 19 gems for it. But, oh, look, that's cute. No, it's not actually. I changed my mind. Uh, oh, that's very scarlet, isn't it? I think we're going to have to go for our... our let's, let's go for Casseramore Red. Go for Casseramore Red. You've set the bar super high, Scarlet. Reed, I can't get over this look. Will Scarlet get lucky tonight or will she just leaf it out? Oh, narrator, you're in my chat. How how pleased am I? I love that everyone is going for Liam just to spite the others. We can do that. It's fine. It's going to be cool. It's going to be fine. It's going to be good. <laughs> the heart PJs do go hard, but this kind of goes harder. I will not lie. Um, well, thanks so much, girls. This one is giving for sure. Before we hit the bedroom, we need to chat about the boys back in the villa. We haven't seen the terrace yet. Good idea, Scarlet. Let's go. Okay, can I just say, we've all got ready for bed. We're all doing our thing. We're all in very sexy pyjamas. Also, this is a different VOD to all the other ones. This is a different uh, live stream. So if you've already liked the other one, but you haven't liked this one, if you could please, I really would appreciate it if you could give this one a like too. Thank you. Um. Also, yeah, so we're we're sat on the terrace in our in our pajamas slash lingerie. So anyone who wants, if someone flew a drone over the villa right now, that's all I'm saying. I just think, you know, this is the terrace. It looks exactly the same, but it says Casa Amor. They even have the same strategically placed. You all head out onto the terrace and take in the views of the stunning Casa Amor. You wanted to talk about the villa boys, right, Luna? I'm just wondering what they're getting up to over there. Yeah, it's definitely crossed my mind as well. They probably had a sexy icebreaker challenge. Do you think so? I'm sure they've been having fun. They better not have forgotten us, forgotten us already. Thank you so much to the 10 of you who just liked the video. Thank you, you're all amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And everyone else who had already liked it. I really appreciate you. How are you feeling about it, Scarlet? I'm in Casa Amor mode. My head's completely in Casa Amor mode. I'm focusing on the grafting opportunities here. Main Villa who? That's the spirit, Scarlet. What is BEC, Joey? <laughs> yeah, instead I feel the same. PJs. Uh, there's already a drone in Casa Amor and it's Liam's droning personality, am I right? Thank you for the two of you who just like the stream. Let's just get into it. Oh, I like her PJs. That's kind of more PJ-like. Still not quite there, but it is like... More pj I <laughs> It's technically... But it, they call it PJs. You're right, Nura. They call it PJs, but it is definitely lingerie, right? Right, we've discussed the old boys enough. It's time to discuss the night ahead. Every girl right here should get the chance to share a bed with a Casa Hottie. We've already got all the reasons to do it. B, you've literally just started your villa journey. You don't have any loyalties. This is the best time to enjoy yourself. For the pep talk, Luna. You're so right. You're so right. And Claudia, you should feel the same. Theo might be the only guy that you've had anything with, but that shouldn't stop you from getting flirty with a Casa boy. 
if any of them are a bit of you. You definitely make me feel better about it. Maybe I should open up to... Maybe I should be open to seeing if a boy catches my eye. Claudia flashes you a flirty look. Although he even says it'll be one of the boys. I'm flattered, Claude. You flatter me, Claude. Very nice of you to say that. You're more than welcome, Scarlet. I'm only speaking the truth. What? It's when you don't like someone, so everything that they do annoys you. Like, is she a... Or is she just eating crackers? Hence... Hence? Hence? Be eating crackers. What? I've never heard of that before. I love that. Yeah, band tee and little shorts. That's what you do. Anyone wants to guess who Dorothy shared a bed with? Claudia. It's got to be Claudia. If Claudia's a choice. It's got to be Claudia, right, Nura? Otherwise, I feel like maybe... Maybe Max. Max seems like the softest boy. So, what's your reason for grafting, Luna? Jin's dealing out flirty wings like it was nothing. But whoever is wearing garters is right. Yep. Agreed. <laughs> it's Claudia, yeah. Not like in words, in outfit. Yeah, no, she's right. In outfit. She dresses so wonderfully. She's like so... It. You know, if there was an it girl, it would be Claudia. Uh, it was Claudia. I thought so. Just waiting for the overall PJs. We could get some overalls. I'm thinking that gives me a big flashing green light to graph city. The girls give Luna a round of supportive applause. Don't worry, Luna. I, oh, sorry, don't worry, Scarlett. I haven't forgotten about you. You've had so much drama, what with Tyler leaving, then coming back with a new girl on his arm. You've really been going through it. You deserve to have some fun and get your graft on. It is my time to graft. I totally agree. It's my time to graft. I'm open to all the opportunities in Casa. Yes, as you should be. I think it's time for bed, girls. Let's go. As you and the girls head for the bedroom, Luna stops you. Before we go in, I know you're into Liam, but it sounds like he's all about B right now. Which other boy is most catching your eye? People who have played this, this part, right? If I tell Luna who I want to get into bed with, is she going to snake me? Or is this actually like who I'm going to get into bed with? Because I tell you, it's like every single time it's different. Oh, Stan, please get nice and cozy in bed and I hope you rest up well. Thank you so much for being here and I hope you feel better soon. Thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. Scarlet is on Claudia's route, but I think it's going to be like end, 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 end game. Or if it's not end game, it will be like after the boys. So... When we're sort of at a lull, with no one left to graft on, we'll go Claudia. Uh, yes, 100%. She won't snake you. You get that bed from what I've played. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. See you soon. Enjoy family night, Wild. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. I do really appreciate you. Have a good sleep. Or night, and then sleep later. Thank you. This part didn't happen because I didn't pick Liam. Oh! That's really smart, Violet. Um, I think... We should say you get the bed, but she flirts aggressively. Aggressively? Take care, friends. See you soon, I don't know why I said it like that. See you soon, why I'll take care. Take care, friends. <laughs> I'm on antibiotics for the next 10 days, unfortunately. Oh, bless you. I hope you feel better soon. I hope Easter gives you the chance to rest. I'll see you soon, Wild. Thank you. I don't know what I did that for. I'm sorry. Take care, friends. Um... I think we're going to say, let's say Sean, but if she's going to flirt aggressively. Right now, I think it's Sean for me. Not for this one, but she does someone a little loose in the end. Why am I not surprised? Good to know. I can't wait for tonight. Do we head in? Yes, please. Let's get to bed. You enter the bedroom and see, look. Oh, Wild's just gone. Okay, hold on. I'm going to send a snip. A wild of uh, this screen. I'm so sorry. This is like so. Um, I 
There we go. I don't know why I had to do that. I just had to. Okay. Jordan is the best looking so far. I think he's the best looking out of like every boy in the villa and Casper and more so far. But I don't know why. I just think he's maybe the best proportioned. <laughs> you enter the bedroom and see that all the boys have been waiting for you all. They, they all have flirty grins on their faces. Welcome to the heart of Castor Amor, girls. Make, make yourself, make yourselves at home. We've been keeping the beds warm in case you want to share with us. That's so kind of you. Everyone looks at you expectantly. Will you be sharing a bed with anyone, Scarlet? Uh, Sean? Ovs? <gasps> I'd like to share a bed with Sean if he'll have me. There's actually a scarlet shaped space in my bed right here. That's very convenient. What is everyone else's sleeping arrangements? I think I'd like to curl up next to Max. That's the best news I've heard today. I'm going to sleep with Liam. I've been waiting all night to hear that be. Looks like we're bunking up Kyle. That works well for me. Friend vibes only though, I'll be drifting straight off. You all make your way to the beds for the night. Why can't I not speak today? You get under the covers next to Sean. Oh, <laughs> thank goodness for that. He flashes you a big smile. I'm happy that I've chosen to spend the night here. See, that's how a wide rib cage should look on Kyle. The last bombshell should take note. You're not wrong. Oh my god, I forgot about him. What was his name? What is his name? The new guy. I forgot he existed. You said ribcage and it all came flooding back, sadly. Oh, you could definitely say that. Are you having fun in Casa so far? It's been fun. And honestly, it's just gotten so much better. I'm gonna return the flirty vibe. Harry, thank you, Noemi. I appreciate you. I've been live for a little while, Diana. I had a little bit of a problem with my internet and we're back. So we've been live for about an hour now, just over an hour, I think. Um, it's definitely improved for me too. Probably because of who's in bed with me right now. I can't really believe my look. Well, it's definitely happening, so enjoy. Tell me more about what you do in the real world. Well, you know I'm a chef. I love all cuisines. I'll try my hand at a bit of anything. But I'm really into modern Southern American food right now. Oh, you must be big on Atlanta food scene. I try my best. I just really love to feed people. I'd love to whip you up a five star meal for you sometime, Scarlet. I'll whip up anything you like. <laughs> you can whip up anything you like. I have a feeling I'll enjoy it. I've already got some ideas in mind. I can't wait to try them. Time to turn the tables. What do you do again? I'm a junior doctor. Am I? <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> That's really cool, Scarlet. Thanks, it makes me happy. If tonight is anything to go by, Kessa is going to be a blast. It's very early days, Scarlet, but I'm definitely feeling a spark. And I'm looking forward to spending some more time with you. Hopefully you're feeling a similar spark with me. It's magnetic. It must be the accent. Honestly, I think this attraction is magnetic. I'm definitely feeling it strongly. Dawn flashes you a big, sexy smile. You're right, it's magnetic how close I want to be to you. You both lie back and get cozy. Oh my gosh, I think one of my... I really like the film I Love You, Philip Morris. Don't watch that if you're under the age of 18 or whatever age it is in your, univ your universe, where you're from, whatever the age range or age rating for I Love You, Philip Morris is. But I think that's what I'm trying to channel here. You both lie back and get cozy. <laughs> Sean sounds like he's from Kansas and I can't stop laughing. Okay, what is this accent? I love you, Philip Morris. I love you, Philip Morris. Uh, he's from... Oh, I don't remember. It's based on a real story, by the way. Uh, but it is a little bit... Uh, I want to say sexy, but it's not really sexy. There's sex in it. Oh, Texas. 
I'm kind of going for a Texan accent by by accident. I do apologize, everyone. It sounds like he's from Texas. Exactly, my life. <laughs> That's what I'm accidentally doing. <laughs> I I like his accent. I like his accent. This is all I can do. You turn over and notice Sean looking longingly at your lips. What's on your mind? I was wondering if you wanted to stay up a little later with me. Yeah. Definitely, I'm not ready to go to sleep just yet. <laughs> Joey, I'm so glad. <laughs> I was really hoping you'd say that. I'm wide awake. I thought it'd be fun to share some sexy secrets. What kind of sexy secrets? Things that turn us on the most. I think you should go first. Mine involves a lot of flexibility. Like getting your leg over your head. Not quite, I just like trying out lots of different positions. Have you got a favourite? Maybe. Maybe you'll find out sometime. I also like it when a girl takes charge. You like trying different positions out, Scarlet? <laughs> I am a bedroom gymnast. I suppose you could call me something like an acrobat. Or a bedroom gymnast. I love that attitude. I'll have to remember to stretch if we ever practice together. You and Sean share a smile and stare into each other's eyes. I just want to say I'm really excited to be sharing this experience with you. Love Island Casa Amor this night. I'm having a really good time. Oh, it's definitely been a night to remember. Sean flashes you a suggestive smile. How would you like to spend the rest of the night? I would like to steamy kiss. <laughs> to have a steamy kiss, not just to steamy kiss. You look down at Sean's lips suggestively. I'd love to kiss you right now. I'd like that a lot. He looks you deep into your eyes as you bring your face closer to his. You put your hand behind his head and bring him towards you for a soft, sensual kiss. His soft lips move effortlessly as his tongue caresses your own. His strong arms wrap themselves around you as he kisses down your jaw and neck. You let out a soft moan of pleasure as he moves his hand down your back. I hope it's his hand. Or maybe not. He gently caress caresses you as you... Oh my gosh, I've just actually made myself lose track with that. He gently caresses you as he softly kisses you. You return the favour, moving your hands down his ripped torso, his breath quickening. He pulls you close for one final, lingering kiss. You beam at each other as he strokes your hair. Wow, that was incredible. You get into a super comfy position and drift off to sleep in Sean's, Sean's arms. You stir awake next to Sean. Orange, you glad we slept together? See, there's oranges on the wall. That was like a really fun. <laughs> this is so Wattpad coded. You're not wrong. If you close your eyes, all I can hear is Sandy Cheek. Wait, wait, no, but Sandy was also from Texas. Maybe that's all I can do. Maybe Texas and Kansas are like the only US. Act well, I can kind of do Californian if you really, whatever the, you know, when you say you squint your eyes, you could just see it. Whatever the equivalent to squinting your eyes is to your ears, do that. Then I can kind of sound Californian. <laughs> Oh no, stop it, stop it. <laughs> a driver of piles, I bet. The, a climber of mountains, a hammer of jacks, the sharpest of shooters. I got you balls. I just realized what I said. <laughs> you didn't miss a Cali accent, um, but if you'd like, I could do, no, that's gone too Southern. But I could kind of do a Kelly accent for you if you wanted me to. I did do a Meghan Markle accent and it wasn't very good. <laughs> it wasn't very good. <laughs> um, but welcome in. How are you doing, Little Cup? Not balls, anything but the balls. <laughs> I can do, you could do a Kelly. You could do a Kelly, Joey. You've got such a nice accent though. I'm doing okay, thank you, Noodle Cup. How are you doing? You stare awake next to Sean, smile at each other and stretch out, ready for the day. Good morning, how did you sleep? Really well, next to you, Scarlet. Last night was amazing, to be honest. What was your favorite part? 
I won't be forgetting about that kiss for a long time. Did you have a good night, Scarlet? I'll be dreaming about it. I'll be dreaming about it all day. It was an unforgettable night. I feel the same way. Daydreaming today and beyond. I feel so good after it. As you smile at each other, you hear the others start to wake up. Morning, everybody. <laughs> You're fine, balls. I was thinking Valley Girl, yes, to a song. That's the one. Noodle Cup, I hope you're okay. I hope you're doing all right. Uh, the Vancouver, if you want to talk about it, please feel free. Vancouver isn't really, uh, really isn't far enough away from Cali for accents to be different. Is that true? Is it? Is it because it's the same like Manitoba drawl has faded over time? Manitoba. Whenever I think about it, I always think of Minnesota. I think, and I think that's just because those words kind of rhyme. I think that's like literally the only reason. Everyone looks happy and refreshed. The vibes are so good in here this morning. For sure, Casa Amor is the place to be right now. How was everyone's night? Best first night I could have imagined. B was an amazing bed partner as expected. Thanks Liam, I had fun too. I can't lie, it was a night to remember. Oh really? What did you two get up to? Scarlet, care to spill the tea for us? I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one little tidbit. Come on then, give us the info. We had a really nice chat and got to know each other better. And I might have discussed Sean's turn-ons. Yep, that may have happened too. Wow, you really did get to know each other. All in all, it was an eventful evening. Love to hear it. I actually noticed two people getting pretty cla class close last night. Who? Luna and Max, you two looked more than comfortable together. Luna, you didn't. Luna and Max exchange flirty glances between them, but don't say anything. What do you have to say to that? I've got nothing to say right now. Me, me either, my lips are sealed. Luna and Max giggle and whisper to each other, turning away from you all. As you fluff up the pillows, B approaches you. Morning, B. Everything okay? I wanted to chat to you about Tyler if you've got time. Let's get out on the terrace and talk in private. So, you wanted to talk about Tyler. Do you have something to tell me? I just thought you might want to hear my side of it. I want you to know exactly what happened whilst he wasn't in the villa and give you all the facts. Sounds like you've got a lot to get off your chest. Yeah, and not just about that. It's not necessarily just the boys I'm into in here. <gasps> oh, this changes everything. This changes everything. Oh, that's so good though, Noodle Cuff. I'm really glad to hear it. I'm really glad to hear you've had a good day. B, honey, my legs don't work today. That should, wait. B, honey, my legs don't work today. That should tell you though. That should tell you enough. Help me, help me understand. Also since it's text, I might've come off sarcastic in the past. When I said I'm thriving lately, I genuinely meant it. I'm really, that's amazing. I love that. I love that so much. I was waiting for you to get to that part. This part, this part right here. Robert, do it and then come and come and talk. Oh, Dylan, are you talking about some, some time in where your legs, because you had a good, yeah. Sorry, look, I'm naive, okay, I'm little. <laughs> I'm from Canada and I have an American accent from watching Hannah Montana. I loved Hannah Montana. Hannah Montana's on my list. I really want to rewatch it. Um, when she <laughs> said that, I thought she was talking about Claudia. Oh, maybe not us. Really? Yeah. But I didn't bring you out here to talk about that. Oh. We should focus on the main issue for now. There's some pretty big stuff that you don't know about Tyler. So do you want to hear my perspective? No, not with those amounts of gems, thanks very much. I might just head back inside and see what the others are up to. How, right, think about this. Th 
think about putting it this way. Think about this. If you had a gem option and it was like, it's 50 gems to talk this scene. I know it's not gonna be 50 gems, but imagine that. And you say, no, thanks. I don't really wanna do that. And then they're like, what about 35 gems? You do it then. Would you, would you talk for 35 gems? And you're like, no, I don't think so. 20, La last, last opportunity here. 20 gems, would you do? Then I would be like, absolutely. Canada in the chat. Why Canada in the chat? I'm listening, I'm listening. Hey, give some of us, give us how you do. Welcome. Five gems, final offer. They're gonna try and make you do it again. Wait, what are they gonna try and make me do for 29 gems? <laughs> no. Why am I not reading it? I'm just like reading it in my head. Um, there's a lot to talk about, whether you're thinking of staying loyal or cracking on. Knowing this might affect this decision. They're going to try again to make you do it for 29 gems? What? What? I know, Noodle Cup, same though. Wait, so is this like a, is this a 29 gem option and this is like, we're getting it for 17? I don't think we care about Tyler. So even if it is a good deal, I don't want to, I don't want to be, sp I don't want to be spending it. So I think we go find the others. <laughs> yeah, 29 gems. I don't think I've ever paid that, but tell me if I'm wrong. At the end, they're gonna make us... We will have to find out, won't we? We'll have to find out. I think I'll go find the others. There's mention of another girl. Okay, no worries. Before you reach the door, your phone pings. Got a text. The others rush out to join you on the terrace as you read it out. Islanders, today you'll be competing against the main villa in raunchy races. Hashtag start your engines. Hashtag first to the finish line. Can't believe we'll be up against the main villa. I am so up for this. The OG boys will be up for it too. With their new girls. Grab your swimwear and your fastest shoes. It's raunchy races time. I always wear swimwear under my clothes just in case they need me to step in as a bombshell at the last minute. Still waiting patiently for that one. But which OG boys will be waiting for their partner? And who will be racing to crack on during the raunchy races? Find out next time on Love Island. Okie dokie, right. I had to stop it because we've got an ad going on. Um, it's solitaire lovers and fast games. And we're not gonna, we're not gonna deal with that right now, are we? We're just... Not going to deal with that. So, everyone, how are we finding it? I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick cheeky BRB. We're going to get some uh, drinks down. Uh, so everyone, have have your drinks, stay hydrated, and then we'll be back for part two and three. I think what I'm going to do is go through, through parts two and three as speedily as we can because we want to get to the main part of this. No free promo. I can't believe I did the dab. All right, everyone, if you haven't already liked this part, please do as well. And I'll see you after this section now. See you in a bit. Bye, everyone.
Hello everyone, welcome back. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome. We are back with part two of Love Island the Game, day seven. This is Casa Amor. Thank you so much for being so patient. We're gonna dive right into it and see what happens. I hope you've had a good time chatting while I have been doing my BRB stuff. Uh, but let's go. As I say, I'm not gonna be reading chat as much this time around because I'm going to be trying very hard to get through these next two parts. So if you haven't already, please make sure you chat away or you can listen along, it's completely up to you, but feel free to have conversations about anything you want in chat. Well, within reason, just be kind, be nice. Kelsey, how you doing? Welcome in, I hope you're well. Okay, everyone. Okay, well, so Joey, stop talking about our tactics out loud. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I'm trying not to steal the money this time, but they're making it hard not to. I know, I feel like we're gonna steal the money. I have to watch it on catch up, John. Thank you so much. Is it the first episode back? Thank you, everyone. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. This is episode 20, Set Pulses Racing. Go head to head with the villa in raunchy races. Let's see how we get on. Welcome back to Love Island, where raunchy race is about to take place. It's Love Island Villa versus Casa and Moore. Who will come first and win the game? My girlfriend used to say I should let her come first when we were together. I never did. I'm not a loser. It definitely wasn't the reason for our breakup. Anyway, let's see who gets the win today. You and the girls burst into the dressing room. Luna is straight to her wardrobe. Thank you, Violet. I really like it. It's um just a cardigan, but it's 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 really cool. I actually cannot wait for raunchy races. This is exactly what we need. Get a win and let the OG boys know we mean business. Are you putting yourself forward as team captain, Luna? I am, Scarlet. We're winning this. All right, but let's make sure we have some fun too. In what world would getting raunchy with some hotties not be fun? I could hear you were having some fun last night. Practice for today. Maybe. Oh, just tell us already you know you want to. Fine, things got a little bit steamy with Max. And? We kissed and did some stuff. Stuff? Some bits and bobs were hard, pleasant time, 10 out of 10. She's still with Jin though. Look at you having a wild first night in Casa and I just went straight to sleep. How about you, B? Good first night? Liam and I had a nice chat, but he didn't make a move. Maybe he isn't as into you as you thought. Ouch. It's night one. He might be waiting till he gets to know you better. Plus, there are some other choices here. You never know who you're going to have a spark with. What would you like me to say instead, Joey? We better find some fire outfits for today, then. Oh. Nice. I forgot about B's, like, transparent PNG thing. Love it. Scarlet, what are you going to wear? I'm going to wear... Great question. Um, I don't think I'm going to wear... Oh, I really like the new things. I think I'm going to wear one of the ones we already have, though, because... Look, it is still there! We're going to wear this one, but I am going to change my hair to this one. We're going to go for the... Do no, wait, let's wear the other one, because we haven't worn it in ages. We'll do this one instead. Thank you, Noodle Cup. I appreciate it. Okay, Joey, if you think of a substitute word, let me know and I'll say it. This is definitely the look for wacky races. Yes, yes, yes. This is what I was talking about. Bring in the risk hay races. Unicorns, you might be onto something. Bring in the energy and the heat. I bet the boys back in the villa would love to see us now. You think they're talking about us? Or you think they're thinking about us? I'm sure they're busy with the new girls. I forgot about the new girls. Well, let's make sure they know that we're not playing. Me and Scarlet have to twist anyway, so why not bring the best boys back? We have to take Scarlet's wor wise words. It's time to graft. So, Ida and B weren't actually coupled up then. It's a summer of love. Let's make sure we do everything to find it. What if the game messes things up with your partners? We need to play the game. We for sure have to play the game. We don't want the villa, the villa to win, do we? It'll just be us missing out if we hold back. 
Let's see, Scarlet's on board. Let's get it done. I'm always on board for a smooch anyway. Either way, girls, we have to, we have a game to win. Yeah, let's go. Here we go. Heading to the fire pit, you see the boys waiting for you. Sean breaks into a smile as soon as he sees you. Hi, Liz, by the way, welcome in. Here they are, here they, here they are. You girls took your time, nearly missed the challenge. Can't rush looking this good. Bee's right, you'll, you're looking amazing, Scarlet. I think you might have won this challenge already. Oh, Sean. Come on, let's get this game started. The villa isn't beating us. You don't think they can keep up with us? Now, have you seen the focus? We have. I don't know, the villa boys seem pretty on it. I think the villa might take the win. Let's be devil's advocate here. I think the villa will win this. The boys won't want to see us lose. Won't want to lose to us. Nah, I can't believe you don't back us. We have to try even if you don't think we can beat them. <laughs> yeah, Scarlet, we'll do our best. Your phone pings. I've got a text. Quiet, everyone. You read the text out to the group. Islanders, risky races, risque races is about to begin. It's the Love Island Villa versus Casa Amor. Whoever competes each challenge fastest will win a point. The team with the most points at the end will be rewarded with a party tonight. Hashtag the winner takes it all. Hashtag get risque. Come on, it's on. Let's win this party. Are we all warmed up? Stretched earlier. I was joking. There'll be no joking when you see how fast I am. Luna's phone pings. Liam claps his hands and bounces to his feet, ready for action. The most stylish boy must give the most a, da a lap dance to the most stylish girl. Has to be B. I'll take it. Which boy? Ovs me. Before anyone can argue, Liam rushes over to B and winds his body in front of her. Oh wow, straight in there. B giggles at his lap dance. What he lacks in rhythm, he makes up for with enthusiasm. I'm gonna tell him to stop. Yikes, this is bad. Stop it already, it's the quickest, not the longest lap dance. Don't tell me you're not loving this view, Scarlet. I'm loving it. Get low. I like it when you're assertive. He moves his hips and bounces on her lap. The islanders clap as he ends his dance. Liam gives B a sweet peck before going back to his seat. Watch and learn, lads. That was pretty. That. That. That was pretty. What is a southern accent? I forgot. That was pretty impressive, to be fair. But was it fast enough? Of course it was. Luna's phone pings. Love Island Villa win. How? I was rapid. Marie, did the one before not work? It should work the one in chat. Um, if it doesn't, I can ping a new link in chat. The, uh, someone's already joined from tonight, so I think the, the link does work. Uh, it's this one if it doesn't come up. There we go, thank you, Joey. Who do you think is the most stylish boy in the villa? Harry, surely? Luna glances at you. The boys aren't hanging about. Another phone pings. That's me, ready? The most chill boy must kiss the hottest girl. I'm chill. Dude, I'm def- I'm- I'm defo the most chi I'm defo the most chilled. I'm so- Oh my gosh, all these accents. I'm so chill, I fell asleep during Liam's dance. I saw your eyes glued to me, mate. Guys, we don't have time for this, just pick. Me. I will jump up and head your way. Happy to be the hottest girl, Scarlet? Absolutely, I'll snog him. More than happy, come here, you. You pull Kyle close to you and kiss him passionately. He tilts his head to deepen the kiss and you move with his rhythm. His tongue caresses yours and he pulls you closer. 
his hand in your hair. So hot, but this is a game of pace. You pull apart and see him smile. Love that. I don't even care if we lose this one. Max's phone pings. The Love Island win. The Love Island Villa win. What? The villa is smashing it. I will give you a new link. There you go. There's a new one. That should get you into the Discord. Who do we think was their chillest boy? That's Tyler for sure. Yeah, I guess it has to be him. Not hesitating with that kiss either. He's just playing the game. It's part of the game. We all have to kiss and get risque. Not bothered by it. Love the confidence. But what if the kisses lead to more? Like it creates sparks with another girl. Luna stands up quickly, a determined look on her face. I thought we were winners. Do we really want the OG boys thinking they can beat us? The OG boys are having their fun. We should be having ours. You know we deserve this party. Let's win this. These phone pings. Here we go. The most high energy boy must mime a sex position with a girl who's the sexiest dancer. Now I know it's my time to shine. You defo take the crown for that one. No doubt about it. But which girl is the sexiest dancer? Uh, that could be Claudia. Claudia Deva has the best moves out of all of us girls. I think we can all move, but I'll take it. Claudia joins Liam in front of the fire pit. Let's do it then. Liam lays on his back and Claudia straddles him facing away. Little reverse cowgirl for you. This isn't a difficult life, lucky boy. They get up and return to their seats. That had to be a win. Promise I'm not normally that quick? Oh. You get a text. Passer and more wins! The group erupts into cheers. Back in the game. Luna's phone lights up and she reads her text out quickly. The most well-traveled boy must kiss the most well-traveled girl. Well, as I traveled all the way from Outlander, it has to be me. Is it distance to here or most countries? I've gone to 50 quest countries. Sure, right. Uh, Sean takes this one. Sean smiles at you. How well traveled are you, Scott? How well traveled are you, Scarlet? Uh, I get the kiss. I love traveling. I'm big on traveling, so I'll take that kiss. Thought so. Hurry up! You close the gap between you and Sean, feeling his soft lips press to yours. It's a quick kiss, but as you part, you see him grin. Now this is what Risque Races is all about! Theo would have had to kiss a new girl for that one. He's for sure the most well-traveled boy. I told you those boys wouldn't miss out on a win. Does it bother you, Claude? I thought it would, but now I don't think so. He meets your eyes with a small smile. Maybe it means I should keep my options open. You have all of Casa to think about it. That's my phone. He reads out the result. Casa Ramor wins. The group cheer and high five. That means we're level. We can still win this party. Your phone pings. Another text. You read it out to the rest of the islanders. The oldest boy must kiss the funniest girl. Well, I'm the funny girl for sure, really. <laughs> um, damn, I have to take this one. The, the dad of the group? Um, sorry, what was... Is there an issue with the Discord? Is it okay? Or is there a problem? That's definitely a link that works. That's the problem, Marie. Is it that you haven't been let into the Discord? If you do, if you're if you're in and you can see some of the channels but not all of them, make sure you put your thing in the verified. It's on Marie's side, that's what I thought. Let me know, Marie, if you still can't get in though. He wishes to be a poster boy for Hollister. Yeah, did Joey say it's like Lim Hollister? Yeah, Lim Hollister or like 
Abercrombie, that kind of vibe. Um, Felix was odd, but entertaining. I liked Felix. I was going to pick Felix and bring him back in the season two that I'm doing now, but sadly we didn't get that far, you know? The dad of the group. I know who I think is... I, I know who I think is the funniest. Scarlet? You're right with that one. You're so right, Sean. I'm definitely the funniest. Jim was stealing my jokes the whole time we were in there. You do crack everyone up, to be honest. My old age gives me this wisdom. My old age gives me this wisdom. I'm gonna lips him. Don't know what that means. When you, when it, someone says lips, I feel like you just take your lips and you just whack him, you know? Come here, you. You place your hand on his cheek and guide his lips to yours and kiss him hungrily. He returns the energy and deepens the kiss, his fingers caressing your back. He bites his lip as he pulls away. I feel like no one has a sense of urgency right now. Which boy, which filler boy is the oldest? I'm sure it's Harry. Luna catches your eye. He's not playing. See you soon, Robert. I like the term neck. N your neck on? Is, is that a Liverpudlian thing? A Scouse thing, sorry. I just want to know who won. You lot took way too long. Liam's phone pings. He reads it out. Love Island Villa wins. Good luck. Oh, come on, guys. Next one's ours. These phone pings. Okay, who's next? The islanders all lean forward, ready to spring into neck into action. <laughs> into action. The biggest Parsi boy must kiss the wildest girl. That's me all day. Little scouser. Quick, wildest girl. Luna. Luna is short. Luna can be absolutely. Luna is the wildest of this bunch. Oh yeah. I definitely will take that crown. Max and Luna quickly snog. They finish their kiss and return to their seats. That'll probably be Theo kissing someone. She flirtily glances your way. Claudia, come on. Though, can't say I'm bothered. Claudia's phone buzzes. Read it out. Tessa and more wins. Everyone jumps up and down, laughing and cheering. We're tired. We're tired. You get a text and read it out. Islanders, the Love Island Villa and Casa are more of tied. It's time for a tiebreaker. This is it. If we don't win this, then there's no winners. Then no winners party. We need that party. Can't stand thinking of the villa getting it. And the boys having the time of their lives with the new girls. Yeah, we deserve it more. Whoever's up next, if you win this, I will be eternally grateful. You will literally be our hero. This is it, everyone ready? Your phone pings. Here we go. You read the text out. The hottest girl must kiss the hottest boy. Do we not have this one? Well, it has to be you, Scarlet. Take the win. Hey. No doubt about it. Go for it. Take the win. I've got to get us winning the party. Yes, Scarlet. I've had enough kisses, so I'm out of this one. Need some lip balm. Uh, well, I'm going to kiss Sean, obviously. I'm really just using this as an excuse to kiss Sean. You strut towards Sean. His eyes light up as you approach. Sean, want to help me win? Sean jumps up and heads your way. My pleasure. Standing face to face with Sean, he looks deep into your eyes. Quick, we don't have long. Uh, we're going to go for... A... Oh... I want to say big snog, but if we go for a big snog, are we going to lose? No, I've paid gems. They can't possibly take it away from us, right? You heard her. Hurry up and kiss me. You know you want to kiss me. John swoops you up in his arms and pulls you close. Dipping you backwards as you feel weightless in his arms. Your eyes close as your lips meet in a hungry, passionate kiss. You feel like you're floating as he spins you on the spot and gently nibbles at your lip. He rests you down gently as you pull apart and breathe in. A rush of excitement going straight to your head and sending shivers down your back. And that's how you and that's how you win risque races. Kelsey, thank you for knowing. The others are in awe of you as you strut back to your place. Scarlet for the win! They whoop and cheer at your outstanding performance. Why did the scarecrow get a promotion? 
because he was outstanding in his field. Incredible. I thank you. It was a good joke. Surely that's a win. It defo, it defo was for me. Yeah, I guess you don't even need a prize. But did we win? Your phone pings. Everyone is silent as you read it out. Islanders, the results are in. Casa Ramor wins risque races and will win a wi and will receive a winner's party. Hashtag pass your night. Hashtag take the win. That was all you, Scarlet. You absolutely smashed that, Queen of Casa. This party will be dedicated to Scarlet and her kissing skills. Looks like I've won all over again. Just doing what needs to be done. You can thank me later. Don't worry, we will. Big time. I did a lot of legwork in that challenge. What do you want? A medal? But Scarlet secure, secured it. But Scarlet secured it. Things got tense for a minute there, didn't it? Girls, it's debrief time. Not, not getting in the way of that. Let's leave them to it and get some snacks, lads. The boys stand and make their way to the kitchen, all except Liam. I wouldn't mind joining in. Liam! Fine. Liam follows the guys to the kitchen. You and the girls can hear the boys laughing and joking in the kitchen. They seem to have a great time. Of course they did. They've got to be... They've got to get flirty with us. Thank you, balls. Bet the Villa boys had some fun too. I'm sure Jin didn't hold back. He's for sure making moves on a hot Casa girl right now. I wonder if they think we got flirty. Well, they know we have fun quicker than them because we won. Wait, Noodle Cup, how? Liam is a stage five clinger. He's not, he's not my favorite. I'll say that much. All thanks to Scarlet. Couldn't have done it without you. All I know is I'm not hanging around to find out he's twisted with someone else. To be honest, I'm thinking the same. You are? I don't think it's a secret. There's been someone else on my mind for a while anyway. Me too. You may have some competition there, Claude. Yes, B! Can't blame you on that. I know I'm still coupled up with Theo, but I want to explore things. And after that, I know he defo had some fun with the new girls. I feel like I might have something with Liam, so I'm going to see how that goes. How are you feeling about Tyler having a smooch during the challenge, Scarlet? I don't care who he kisses. I'm not really that fussed. Tyler can do what he wants. I'm having my own fun. That's the spirit. Just remember that you and B are the single girls. You have to twist even if it's just to get back to the villa. What about if we twist together and then come back to the villa together? Me and B. True. I think it's time for a bit of grafting. Let's all have a little flirt and chat and see who tickles our fancy, yeah? We can really get to know these Casa cuties before the party later. Let's do it. You and the girls jump up, ready to get your flirt on. We can look around the villa. These are some really long parts. I'm not used to this. It's been a bit too long since we've had the option to have like really in-depth parts. We're going to start with Sean. Um, thank you, Joey. I appreciate that. And Rico, hello. Welcome in. I like the tier one insults. We need to get more of them, 100%. Because my people are so funny, it's unreal. So true. It is so true. Balls always appreciates pure comedy. I still can't get over the fact it says balls. Does balls always talk in third person too? Because Ashley appreciates balls. I did it again. I did it again. I didn't even mean to. Oh, well, I've said it now, haven't I? That's on the internet forever. Excellent stuff. No one take that out of context, please. <laughs> Sean is cooking up a storm in the kitchen. You sit on one of the stools and watch him work. I'm not blushing, you're blushing. I was just about to come and find you. I want you to try something. You're cooking for me? Panda, it's more of an epic sandwich than a meal. How epic can a sandwich be? 
Excuse me? This is the boss sandwich. The best kind of sandwich to exist. I'll make it anytime I need some energy. And you need energy to match me? Need all the energy? Don't forget I saw you in raunchy races. Risque races. Got to experience some of it too. You're a great kisser. Yeah, this kitchen is not the vibe. I love that game. Nice to break the ice. He adds a little salt to the slices of tomato. He notices you watching him. My motto in life is always salt your tomatoes. Well, one of my mottos. He nods to his creation. Wanna try it? Yes, please. I will try anything you give me. Oh, yes, please. Need to get in on this. Looks so amazing. Coming right up. Guaranteed to change your life. You must love your job. Oh, for sure. I love cooking for people. Always knew I wanted to be a chef. Who brings people together? You don't get tired of cooking at work and then at home. Never. It's not work for me anymore. I guess it used to be when I was working my way up. Started as a dishwasher back home in, Alaba in Atlanta. Now I'm working in one of the best restaurants in London. Wow. My dad had me in the kitchen. My dad had me in the kitchen early. We have fun every day. That's one thing I miss. My friends and family back in the States. Whenever I go home, we do these big cookouts and we make it a party. I always come back to London with more inspo for the menu. John passes you the most delicious looking sandwich. Enjoy. I'm looking forward to the party. What kind of party are you? There for the food or the dancing? I am by the buffet. If you're ever looking for me at a party, go to the buffet. That's why I'll be scoping the selection. My type of girl. Although I'll likely be there before you. It'll be nice for us to get together and let loose. That's what Cass is all about. Not to find love. Nah, I'm all about the love. But fun and love go hand in hand for me. Just looking for a confident girl that knows what she wants. Did you just describe me? Sounds like you just described me. Confident, check, know what I want, check. You know what? That does sound exactly like you. What are the odds? Casa might have found what I'm looking for. I'm gonna make sure I have the best time in Casa. And that starts with this sandwich. I'll leave you two alone. You jump up and leave Sean looking adoringly at his sandwich. Oh no, do we want to speak to Liam or not? What are we thinking? Are we thinking... Are we thinking about speaking to Liam? I still can't believe I said it. And I can't believe I didn't clock the fact that if I said it, it wouldn't be like... Oh my gosh. I know, Casa Amor. Like, Alfie said to me earlier, Casa Amor, does that just mean love house? And I was like, it's the house of love. <laughs> Liam is a male. I think we have to speak to all of them because stars mean that we have to speak to them all. But... Do we just get it out of the way, or do we go and speak to him? Oh, Robert. Okay, no spoilers, because I want to I wanna see what it's all about. But oh my gosh, I, I need to know now. I love Greg Davis, man. He, he, is, he is a vibe. Okay. I think Scarlet would like the challenge of turning Liam's head. That's enough for me. And then dropping him. You're not wrong. You're not wrong. You walk past the gym and you see Liam stretched out on the yoga mat. He yawns and notices you. He quickly drops down into a one-armed push-up position. 99, 98, I can't count the right way. 100, 1000. Liam jumps up and bounces up and down on his toes. Hey Scarlett, caught me in the middle of my warm-up. Yeah, totally, gotta keep this body tight. Don't wanna let the girls down. I'm gonna hype him up. 100 push-ups. Whoa, you must have some strong arms on you. Liam flexes his arms proudly. Yeah, I do. I could defo bench you, easy work. Probably be able to lift Sean up too. I might ask him actually. Looking forward to the party later? Yeah, it should be fun. Music, food. He trails off and you can see him gazing straight past you. But he walks past and he can't take his eyes off her. Actually, to be honest, I'm not really interested in this. He gestures between the two of you. I need to grab B for a chat. B, wait up. 
He leaves the gym as he, he leaves you at the gym as he chases after B. Right, well, let's go and speak to someone else. Let's go for Max. You see Max re relaxing by the pool, relaxing, Max and all cool. He notices you and waves you over. Oh, accents, 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 accents. Okay, come on, let's think. Uh, Liverpool, Skylar, get over here. What, I, how do I, how do I do it? How do I do the accent? Thank you, Joey. Um, He's not Scottish, he's from Liverpool. He's from Liverpool and I can't do it. Um, Liam quickly became the lamest person I know. Yeah, Liam is not the vibe. Liam is like so far past the vibe. The vibe is a dot to you. Um, you go and join him, dipping your toes in the water. I was about to cannonball, but saw you and thought I'd save some moves. A cannonball is one of your moves. Of course, every entrance of mine makes a splash. Terrible joke. I'm just trying to make some waves. Any of these cheesy puns impressing you? Oh, ah, up the flirt. You want to impress me? Literally the only thing on my agenda today. You've got some other moves to show me. Maybe not in the pool. I can show you my moves anywhere. The pool, the fire pit, the bedroom. Sure, sure. Max stretches and you can see his muscles ripple. I'm buzzing for this party later. You a bit of a party guy? Yeah, I love a party. Hoping everyone gets into it and brings their wildest dance moves to the floor. I'd love to find a girl who can party all night with me. All night? Yeah, the dance floor is my happy place for sure. Hoping someone can match my energy. Especially you. Love to see what moves you bring. I was thinking as I work in music, they let me drag, drop some bangers. Oh, you think you could get the vibe going? Count on me for the playlist. What kind of music are you into? Metal. Metal is absolutely the best type of music and if you think otherwise, you are wrong. Can't tell me any different. I never would. I've worked with a few metal groups. They were so fun and uh, we produced some great tracks. There's also something I'd like to find in here, a girl to come to gigs. Is that your type? Yeah, I'd love to share that part of my life with someone. <laughs> Alfie. Going to festivals with each other, making memories. Someone who's a bit of a music geek too, maybe. I'm a bit of your type then, aren't I? Sounds like I'm your type of girl, Max. Oh, sorry everyone. I do love a good gig. That doesn't surprise me at all. You can clearly see you're my type. I mostly want a girl who's creative. Someone who I can bounce ideas off, who I can learn from. So we can inspire each other. And have I inspired you? You've inspired me to want to get to know you better. Maybe we can chat more at the party later. Maybe. You stand up and dry your feet. See you on the dance floor. See you there, Max. You stand up and leave him by the pool. Okie dokie, so we've just got Kyle to chat to next. He's from Swansea. <laughs> Thank you so much for chatting and chat, everyone. I really appreciate it. Very, very much. Charlotte produced the Doom OST. I think she genuinely would, though, wouldn't she? She'd just be like, 100%, 100%. You lay down on a lounger opposite Kyle's as he rubs sun lotion into his skin. That challenge was fun. Especially our kiss, love that. Glad you liked it. Did you enjoy our challenge? It was a good laugh. Yeah, it was a good laugh. It was, right? I couldn't keep a smile off my face. I enjoy a challenge, I thrive off them. The party later is gonna go off, I think. Love that you won it for us. Absolutely smashed it. They'll write stories about it, I'm sure. Why was that more of a, like, scouse <laughs> than the other one? Getting a winner's party over the villa is sweet. You a big party guy? I love a low-key party. Nothing too much, you know? Chill drinks with mates, good music, chatting and vibing. Yes, that's all aspects of my life. Like your job. 
Yeah, I like to draw all day. Des designing, collaborating, creating. Getting to work with someone on a piece of art is the best. I've loved art since school. My mates would get to do. My mates would get me to draw Valentine's cards for them. No way. Had a real demand by the time I left. I was always doodling and it just seemed so natural to go into tattooing. If you're into it, I could design you something. We could work on something together. I would love that. That would actually be very cool. Imagine if in like Love Island, they provide Kyle the stuff to tattoo you and you come back to the villa with a new tattoo. Excuse Oh yeah, I love that. It would be so fun to create something with you. Yes, Scarla, I knew we were on the same level. I'll make sure it's everything you want. No pro no rush or pressure of, so it's not for everyone. My mom always said she'd never have a tattoo, but then I qualified. She saw my portfolio and she wanted one from me. Now she's covered in them. Is she? Yeah, most of my friends are too. Often end up chilling at my shop with people. Is that your type? Chill. My type is someone who listens. Like, really listens. Like someone who I can open up and have deep, deep chats. I want to be able to be completely myself with them. Sounds like I'm your type, I've said to all of the boys. You're describing me. Sounds like I'm your type. I'm big on deep chats. I'm glad you agree. You give me really good vibes. You strike me as someone who has uh, big ideas. I do? Yeah, I'd love to know what's going on up there. I tend to fall in love with people's minds. When someone has a unique thoughts that make you... Oh, I like him. Oh, no. When someone has unique thoughts that make you see the world differently. Is that what you're looking for here? But now I'm happy to go with the flow and see what happens. I'd love to find a girl I'm proper, I am proper click with, but I'm not going to force anything. You're right. You are you are pretty chill, aren't you? Only way to be. Well, I can't be chill all day. See you at the... Wait. Well, I can't be chill all day. I'll see you at the party. Can't wait. Thanks for dropping by. You wait, You leave Carl as he watches you walk away. You stroll through the villa after your chats with the Casa boys. Claudia rushes up to you. Liz, I think that's a brilliant idea. Remind me, because I'd love to do that. Hey, looks like someone uh, had some successful grafting with the lads. I feel like my chats are a bit meh. No one catching your eye? Oh, there's definitely someone catching my eye here. This might not be a boy. Oh, yeah? Yep, they just can't compare. Not sure if any of the boys do it for me. But I want to know which boy is doing it for you. You see Liam and B cuddling and flirting over by the kitchen. Guess Liam can't be on the list or in rush after B. But which boy has the most potential? Kyle caught my eye. Kyle's caught my eye. I get that. He has this low-key mysterious energy around him and free tattoos for life. But he also seems really sweet. Obviously hoping you've got a stronger spark with someone that you've known a little longer. Looks like a cosy combo you're having. Does it? All our chats are cosy. But I'll leave you two to chat. So did Carl come in because we just selected Kyle? Just us two again. Is that a bad thing? Never. I was actually wondering if you wanted to continue our chat from earlier. I haven't really been able to get you off my mind. We could head up to the terrace for some more privacy. See if we can get to know each other even more. I'm gonna say no, thank you. Not for 17 gems, but thanks for the offer, sir. I get that. I just really enjoyed our chat earlier. You intrigued me. I did? Yeah, I can tell there's so much more to learn about you. Thought you might want to know a bit more about me too. There's more than meets the eye, you know. Oh, really? Come to the terrace with me and you might just find out what. I think it'd be a great chance for us to get to get closer. No, thanks. I wish we could, but you charge too much, sir. No, thanks. I'm good. Like I said, I'm not in the mood. Oh, shame, but yes, we have time. I'll wait until you're in the mood. Oh, I like him so much. Your phone pings. Got a text. Everyone gathers around to hear it. What does it say? You read the text out. Islanders, it's time to get glam for the winner's party. Hashtag party time, hashtag glam squad. Hey, Ethan, welcome in. Yes. Getting ready is like the best part of going out. Not when you're out with me. 
Yeah, the best part of going out with you, Liam, is going your separate ways and going home. You'll have to prove that. And I will. Enough, let's go and get ready. You and B chat as you follow Claudia and Luna to the dressing room. This part is seriously never ending. This part has been an hour and a half, I think. My gosh. Max catches up to you. Ladder court, you, ladder court, you Scarlet. What's up? Can we have a quick chat? B gives you a side eye. I'll leave you to it. What do you need to chat about? He smirks and looks around to make sure no one else can hear. Risque races got me thinking about you girls when... Risque races got me thinking about when you girls were talking about the Villa boys and they kiss anyone or move on. It made me think about a few things I saw before coming to Casa. What things? Like how the Villa boys are planning on playing things when you girls are away. I remember Tyler had a few ideas. Max sure knows how to build suspense. I wanted to grab some popcorn and watch the drama unfold. Will he tell us what Casa Amor's Tyler plans are? Tyler's Casa Amor plans are? Or will the party be ruined by this bombshell? Will Liam grasp basic manners? Find out next time on Love Island. Sorry, sorry. No! No! Oh, yeah. I forgot that there are ads in this game. I'm so sorry that we get the weirdest ads in this game. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we don't care about Tyler. Excuse me. I, like, everyone's treating us like we're some kind of married couple, and we're just not. We're just not a married couple. That's just how it is, unfortunately. So, it is what it is. Also, Marie, I'm just going to let you into the Discord. There you go. Also, this ad is going on forever. My gosh, okay, I've just skipped it. It's fine. What are we thinking about so far? Also, I'm really enjoying your chats, by the way. And, um... No, 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 screen change does not mean goodnight. It means we've got one part left. Who let the lemon in? Who's the lemon? Who's the lemon? Uh, it's an, it's an opinion, so it's okay. Wait, what's that? Oh, right. The opinion, yes. That's fine. I feel like... As long as it's kind opinions. I know no one is gonna be here, like... Um, like Megan Fox isn't gonna suddenly descend on the chat, but let's be nice. I fully understand if she's not your type, but that that's that's we have to be we have to be kind about people. Okay, uh, and speaking of which, yeah, who does care about Ty Ty? I think he could go in the bin. I'm only kidding. I I actually do like Tyler, but not that much anymore. Okay, friends, what we are going to do is we are going to. Get on to part three. Oh, my brain is actually, like, gone. I might be biased, though. My best buddy looks a lot like Megan Fox. Do you know what I really like about Megan Fox? I, I don't know much about her at all, right? I don't know much about Megan Fox. I think that she spoke very candidly on that interview a couple of weeks ago or a week or two ago about what plastic surgery and, like, surgeries she has and hasn't had. And I think that was really cool and transparent because I think people don't talk enough about that and it's not a bad thing to get plastic surgery or some kind of like facial thing as long as you're doing it for the right reasons and you've really like made your mind up on it I haven't had anything done I don't know if I would but I'm also not going to judge anyone for making that decision and I think it was really cool of her to do that and just to say I've had this and I've had this and I've had this um I can't judge her as an actress or an actor because I haven't really seen her in anything uh and also uh the only thing I really know about um Megan Fox is her relationship with MJK, MGK, and uh, I'm not going to pass judgment here in chat. Uh, yeah, I'm sure she is an excellent businesswoman as well. Mike, I'm so sorry. I hope you sleep well. I hope you do sleep well, actually, and I hope the um, thing works. Please let me know how you get on tomorrow. Thank you for being here, and thank you for modding in chat, and I hope your headache clears up as well. Um... Being kind and open is so underrated. I so agree with you, Noodle Cup. I so agree. Okay, everyone. I'm going to go on a very, very, very quick BRB. So please, in the meantime, go and get some food, drink, if you need to. And we'll come back and we'll do this last part. Look after yourself. I'll see you in a sec, everyone.
Hello everyone, we are back. We are back here. Right, I just had a little chat with the old ouster and um, we... <laughs> Did you not like that? <laughs> As he's going downstairs. And um, I just I just realised something. We, our plan with Scarlet... Oh my gosh, you were sat in silence, I'm so sorry. Our plan with Scarlet is to try and get with as many people as possible, right? Which means we need to uh, have have fun with someone in the villa and then bring home someone differently, right? So we have to go and have fun with someone in Casa Remor and bring home someone different. So because of this, I'm kind of thinking that maybe what we do is we have a little bit of fun with Sean and then bring home Kyle. Possibly. You had to sit and think about what we did. You did. You had to sit. I hope you were sat on the naughty step too, Joey, because I'm not very happy if you weren't. If you were just sat somewhere nice and not on the naughty step. My messages keep getting erased. What messages? <laughs> what messages? Uh, I'm really sorry if that happens to... I haven't seen it. I, well, I haven't seen any of your messages disappear, Joey, but... Uh, I don't know. Joey. <laughs> Joey. No. I've seen a couple of messages disappear, absolutely, but I haven't seen any of yours, Joey. But let me know. If you see another one disappear, can you tell me which one it is and I can tell you if I can see it or not? What if I enjoyed the punishment? Where's that whipped cream from the other week? <laughs> um, put the game plan in action. I think that's a good a good plan. I like looking at tattoos on other people. I am so in the market for a new tattoo. Also, I love the fact that you look at me like this and I'm like, she has tattoos and then I'm like, well, bam, look at all these babies. Look at these, so many. So many. Um, but you, you don't see those, you don't see those. Um, Oh, what are you getting done? What's your new tattoo? Uh, so far I've only seen this part and being distracted for most of it. I gotta say, Sean is my favorite. I don't blame you. I do like Sean. Marie, I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. The same. If I had money, I would be covered. Like, I really want a big chest piece right here. Like a big shoulder to shoulder chest piece. Uh, and I want a sternum tattoo. I just want everything. I just want all of the tattoos actually, so of shame really isn't it uh that i can't afford them anyway uh we are going to continue on to the next part and i will continue to pay my rent in other ways um uh, <laughs> not like that if you do want to support the channel though you can use kofi to support you are more than welcome to um but anyway besides the point that's not the tattoo fund if it was a tattoo fund i'd be very happy um <laughs> Okay, let's go to Tempting Fate, episode 21, this is party time. The Islander party is underway, and as always, because I feel like I need to say it, otherwise I'm going to annoy some people, I'm really sorry. Um, I will be focusing on getting this part read all the way through, so if I miss your message in chat, likelihood is I've read it, but I just haven't read it out loud, so keep that in mind, and uh, I appreciate you lots, and thank you for chatting along. Also, if you're up for the plan, we're gonna we're gonna get with Sean and then we're gonna take Kyle home because I actually quite like Kyle. But maybe that's, I like Kyle. It's party time. Welcome back to Love Island where Max is about to spill some juicy gossip. There have been like three categories of gossip, right? Juicy, hot and fresh. Which is actually how my ex used to describe my banana berry crumble. What did you think I was gonna say? Let's get back to what Max is gonna say. Spill it, Max. You've got my attention. I, I don't want to bring the, I don't want to bring the bad vibes, but obviously I've seen things that you haven't. I'm not a stare at. I just think you girls should have all the details. That way you can make your own choice, and maybe have some guilt-free fun in there. Go on. Before Casa kicked off, your OG boys were already chatting about it. What were they saying? Jin said he reckoned it was just round the corner. The others were agreeing with him. That's not very incriminating. Ah, but I haven't gotten to the juicy stuff yet, Scarlet. They were basically pumping each other up, saying they couldn't wait to have space from their partners to let loose. They were giving it the whole what happens in Casa 
stays in CASA treatment. The whole thing just felt a bit off, so I'm just warning you, really. There's the Kofi link. They clearly already have... They were clearly already planning on having fun. Or just talking the talk. I mean, Raunchy races... Zero risque races kind of confirmed it. Your boys were quick off the mark. I wouldn't rule out the possibility of them cro cracking on with the other Casa girls. I'm not that fussed. I won't name any names. It's not my goal to drop anyone in it. But you mentioned Jin. He, oh, I just remember B's Geordie. It's just taken me to now. It's taken me to now. He's the one that brought up Casa, that's all. Tyler wouldn't have been involved. Not Tyler, he's not that type of guy. He's into me. Feelings like that don't change. That's such a scarlet thing to say. Mm, the whole bee biz though? Irrelevant actually, we never got a chance to properly resolve that before Casa. Well, Tyler might have said uh, one thing actually. Suddenly the other girls are at your side practically dragging you away. Scarlet, we've got a party to go for. We know how long it takes you to choose a look, girl. Come on. They clock the tension in the air. Claudia glances between you and Max. Are we interrupting something? Yes, you are. Were you getting it on? What? Luna, no, not that kind of vibe. That's my cue. I will uh, leave you girls to get ready. Not that you need to, but you're all looking pretty damn perfect already. That's very nice of you. He smiles appreciatively and then heads off towards the other boys. That was a bit weird. Scarlet, you can fill us in while we get changed. You head into the dressing room and the excitement and nerves of the party start settling in. We'll see what happens. Claudia sits at the mirror, spraying copious amounts of hairspray. Luna is powdering her face furiously. More powder, all the powder. B is sat inside her suitcase, cross-legged. What inside your suitcase? What is that happening? What the heck? Sorry, everyone, just doing a little bit of, uh, there we go. You, glad, you glance around at the room, suddenly realizing the girls are all staring right at you. What's with all the eyes? Claudia, you're not so slick looking at me through the mirror. Claudia sighs and swivels to face you. Maybe you said Max is your favorite, then someone else says it. Yeah, maybe I have to say that, right? Max and Luna almost have the same pose. Oh, I haven't noticed. Oh no, now I'm gonna, now I'm gonna notice. Max didn't say this in mind, it was Kyle. That's so interesting. We're waiting for you to tell us about that secret chat with Max. Yeah, like what's the situation? You and him a thing now? He was definitely giving you a healthy dose of gossip. I know a gossip session when I see one. It's all about the boys back in the villa, isn't it? All right, I'll tell you. Right, girls, I'll tell. Buckle up, though. Max told me about a little chat he saw before he came into Casa. This doesn't bode well. We're stirring. We're stirring. This is going to make me angry. If I tell you the only name he really dropped was Jin's, probably. Ugh, okay, what was the convo about? Apparently the boys were already hyped for Casa. Wait, before he even left the villa? Yep, they were spurring each other on, talking about letting loose. Max said they were looking forward to some space. Space? Space, huh? Space is where I'll be sending them when we get back. Claudia smiles at you, a twinkle in her eye. So I'm not sure if I can be too bothered if Theo cracks on. I'm pretty happy right here. So the things we can deduce, the boys aren't messing about. Yeah, run risky, risque races was certainly an eye opener. They were getting those kisses in quick. We just happened to be quicker. We didn't happen to be quicker. We had Scarlet. Our hero. Never forget it. Wonder if they hated that. Oh, I bet they did. Come on, girls. This is Casa Amor. The perfect place to put ourselves out there. Have fun and explore new sparks. Me too, Joey. There's so much dead up there. Oh, and look damn good while doing it. She's right. We shouldn't be focusing on the villa. This is our time to turn heads and have some flirty fun. You know what? You're right. 
You mean I'm right. No one here is closed off. We owe it to ourselves to explore any and all connections. You girls are going hard. So we're pledging all to go all out on this party then. Especially knowing what we know. They can wait to get rid of us. Oh, I'm going to be grafting. No, nobody said it has to be just the Casa boys I'm after. Oh my gosh. Okay. I understand she's into us. I've heard it so many times. Why does she have to keep telling us again and again and again? Like, I haven't forgotten. You've said it about five times this part so far, Claudia. I love it. I'm flattered. I really am. But really, how many times does it have to be? How many times does it have to be? <laughs> I'm fine. No, I'm not fine. <laughs> She is the duolingo of flirting. You're not wrong. She tosses her hair over her shoulder and looks back at you. You're right. We're free to chat to whoever. I'm pretty new. I've got no loyalties to everybody. Anybody. Or even Tyler. He shrugs. Like I said, no loyalties. Come on then, girls. The new boys are waiting for us. I've got my eye on Kyle. He's ridiculously hot. Excuse me. Let's get ready. You take a look through potential options. I think we just have to go with this. Oh, but there's... Never mind. If we wanted to match Liam, I would go for this. I think... I think we have to go for the groundbreaking show-stopping one. I think this has to be... But then again, they haven't seen us in some of the other ones yet. Maybe we go for this. Maybe we go for this and this. We go for a different look completely, you know? That doesn't... I think, I think we go for this. I think I've made up my mind. I think we go for this one. Yes, Ethan, you're so right. Nothing is better than the black dress. That's the problem. But I have a pro. I feel like they're gonna have a go at us because we've like. I don't know. I feel like they're gonna have a go at us for wearing the same thing two nights in a row. Do you know what I mean? So maybe we go for this option. Change the shoes up? They don't quite go, but... Could. Suppose. Claudia breaks down doors. We've been trying to reach you about your CASA insurance... Cut. Sorry! We've been trying to reach you about your CASA couples insurance. She's, you're so right for that. They won't, tis song, they won't list. Thank you, I appreciate that. Let's go for the black dress then. This is such a good outfit, man. The shoes... Shoes aren't my favourite. I think maybe we go back to the black ones. Yeah. Yeah. This is defo my party look. Gorgeous. Heads turn and look for sure. All the heads will turn tonight. Girls, we gotta change too. Everyone has changed. Party time. Let's show those Casa boys what we've got. You stride out of the dressing room confidently and the girls follow, ready for a night of fun. Oh, girls, you took about seven hours, but wow, that compliment. What he meant to, what he meant to say was, what, bless your heart. What he meant to say was that every, that you were worth every second of the wait. John dips into a little bow. He hands you, B, Claudia and Luna a glass of bubbly each. Is this where we find out he has four hands? We're so lucky to be around ladies of your caliber. Ah, oh, yes, talk gentlemen to me, Sean. Max fake swoons into Sean. I save that for the people I really like. We're on part three, Patuti. <laughs> Sean said, bless your heart. Max crumples his face into a mock sadness. Ouch, burn. Yeah, honestly, you're looking world class. I was I settle on you, yours, and you get the feeling he might be talking about you. Gorgeous girls, equal. Sorry, <clears throat> gorgeous girls, equally gorgeous boys. Let's have a gorgeous night. I'll taste to that. Me too. Me three. Lead the toast, Scott. 
uh, lead the toast, Scarlet. Uh, to new can to Casa Chaos. Do a whole lot of Casa Amor Chaos. I'll drink to that. I'm so ready. You lead everybody, raising your glass and taking a sip. Music begins to play and the party shifts into full swing. You glance over to at Liam and B. They're getting pretty cozy. So would you style me then? You'd make a great client. B brushes Liam's arm gently. I can't tell if that's a compliment or a diss. It's whatever you want it to be. B turns to you. You've already got the perfect style, Scarlet. I can learn a thing or two from a you, bleh. I can learn a thing or two from the way you dress. Though I bet I could teach you a few things too. She looks you up and down, her eyes sparkling with mischief. Before you can answer, Liam chimes in hastily. Did I ever tell you I was awarding top I was awarded top biller of the year at my firm? B bursts into laughter. You're funny, I like that. Oh yeah, I was totally joking. Of course, I'd never use that line for real. <laughs> Claudia calls you over. Scarlet, come join us. Here she is. What's the chat then? I was just telling the guys how hot they look. You know, since they've been so generous with their compliments to us. That girl has some serious game. You're right, I do have game and I won't be holding it back while I'm in here. You look hot too, Scarlet. The hottest, I might add. See, no holding back. No hesitation. Interesting, Claudia. Why so flirty, Claude? Does a girl need a reason? Good point. I think I'll take a leaf out of your book then, whatever that means. So, what vibes are we thinking? Bit of food, a game, some dancing? Did I say that wrong? Kyle's eyes are on you, and it's clear that his question was meant for you. All of the above, just you and I. Luna nudges him gently with his elbow. With her elbow, not like... <laughs> I think he was talking to me. Pretty sure he was talking to me. My eyes do seem to flick over to you naturally, Scarlet. You should get that checked out. Claudia's eyes flick between you and Luna, sensing tension. Right, I'm calling it. Let's go to the fire pit and play a spicy game. I'm down. Games are a good way to get closer to someone. Exactly, we're going to be playing Sipping Truth, so everyone bring your drinks. <gasps> Harry and Kyle, definitely. I feel like Kyle isn't straight. I just get like at least five vibes off him. Like, and that is not a bad thing. I do not have a problem with that at all. I just think that it'd be really nice if two characters who weren't me could also get into a same sex something like relationship or situationship and or same gender. But I feel like, I feel like Carl and Harry kind of could be it, you know? I, it could be the hair, it could be just like his sense of style, like the rings, the tattoos, the mesh. I think it's just because he dresses really well, I'm not gonna lie. But I do think he's the person who me personally, I am most like into Kyle. I love to like get to know him more. Like, I love the tattoos. I love the hair. I love the style. Ty and Kieran. Wait, did Ty and Kieran get together? Or are you saying they could have done? Because I don't remember that. In season three, we had a male-male couple, if you don't couple up with one of them. I think we might have coupled up with Ty or Kieran, if that's the option. If he were a lemon sorbet, he'd be zesty. Do I have to say that in Joey's accent? If he were a lemon sorbet? No, that's so bad, I'm so sorry. Yeah, I think it's the mesh now. <laughs> they make it so hard for um, women loving women and they never make it anyone else even a little bit gay. That's the thing, I feel like, I feel, right, in my head, my head canon is that Kyle is bi. At the very least, he's bi. He, he might be man, he might be like anything else, but I think he could at least be bi. He's definitely into more than just women. That is what I will say. Um, but I like him. I'm, I'm not, I'm, I really like him. He gestures towards you, a question in his eyes. That's true, Jake was bi, definitely. But you'd never see like, oh, sorry, I've been proven wrong. In one season out of what, nine we have seen or eight, uh, two guys couple up if you're not coupled with one of them. 
The MLM couple was kind of joked about and voted off almost immediately. Is that true? Listen, I don't remember this at all. I remember Ty and I remember Kieran, but I don't remember them at all. Like, as a as a couple. Uh, is that because of the accent? I'm sorry, Joey. <laughs> if you're playing, I'm playing. Let's find out. You dash over to the fire pit, ready to take the party to the next level. I think we all want to know how to play this game, Claude. What's Sipping Truths? Al has brought the non-alcoholic fruit punch over. He makes sure to top up your drink first. I'm sorry, Joey. It's really simple, really. We each take it in turns to make a statement about ourselves or somebody else. And then if the rest of us think it's true, we sip. Who wants to go first? Me, I've got one. It should be easy for all of you. I'm the hottest casa guy. B giggles and takes a sip. Liam puffs his chest out proudly. I forgot to pay attention. I have no idea how this is working. I almost want a drink just because I admire the ego on this guy. Don't, don't encourage him. We love a self-confident king, but I ain't drinking either. Oh, okay. So Liam said I'm hot. I am going to not take a sip and bring him down a notch. Ew, I'm definitely not drinking. Did you just say ew? Oops, that was totally involuntary. Kyle stifles a chuckle. Kyle is our boy. Nobody else drinks. That's okay. There was only one person I wanted to see take a sip. And she did. So I won and I am still sexy. Okay, wait. Uh, okay, okay, I've got a good one. I've been fired from no less than five jobs. No way, man. You've far too put together for that. You know what? I reckon it's true. It's always the people you least expect. I am going to sip and flirt. I agree with Max on this one. I think you've got a sexy rebellious streak. Oh, Scarlet, I do. Max and Luna take sips. Girls and guys, I did in fact get fired from five jobs. What were you doing? That's got to be a record. You gotta list them. A call center, a bar, a pet store, a hardware place, and a coffee shop. Coffee shop. <laughs> These were all before I stepped into the world of food, to be fair. I'm not surprised they fired me from the call center, though. The office, the office Olympics I organized didn't go down a storm with the management. This is that's an office reference. I'm calling that as an office US reference. Oh, you've got a wild side. If you count racing down the hallway on wheelie chairs as wild, then sure. I've had sex on every continent. What, Max? Is this part of the game, or did you just want to tell us that? Funny, sip, or don't. I don't buy it, you're not that smooth. You sound like Obama mixed with Graham Norton. No, I, no, no. He might be well-traveled though, he's a music producer after all. Claudia takes a sip, followed by Kyle and B. Oh, I'm sipping, that's pretty hot. I'm taking a sip. That's actually pretty hot if it's true. Oh yeah, you like the idea? Wait. Oh yeah, you like the idea of that, Scarlet? Maybe I do. Lots of different vibes, settings, feeling. Adventurous girl. Guess what, people? It's true. All six continents. Um. Asia, Africa, North America, South America. Europe and Australia. Who's going to tell him? Penguins. Penguins. Icebergs. Extremely cold weather. Oh man, I forgot Antarctica. I guess that's next on the list. My turn. I've tattooed a celebrity. Ooh, I could believe that one. A list, B list. More like Z list. There's no way you're big enough to tat celebs yet. Can we actually put Liam in the bin? And kind of put B in the bin as well, because why is B like glommed onto Liam? He's not nice. I don't like him. 
Thanks for the vote of confidence, mate. Oh, I can be the next person you tattoo. Interesting. Maybe I could be the next one you get to ink. You take a sip. I'd be honoured. You'd be the most gorgeous client I've ever had, that's the truth. I would hope so. A few of the other islanders take a sip. So, is it true then? I have tattooed a celebrity, yes. Pretty sure it's someone you'll all recognise. I did a tattoo for Gabby from season 5. Gabby? This was before she came on the show. I did her infamous turtle tattoo. Oh my gosh! I feel like we've just gone full circle. Oh my gosh! That's so cool. I mean, not the tattoo, but the fact that he did it. Are you kidding me? See, that sounded Scouse, and that wasn't a Scouse character. I remember the big stir that... I remember the stir that caused. A big moment in Love Island history. So much drama made me realise I never wanted to be in a situation like that. I'm going to mix it up a little bit with mine. I'm going to turn the most heads in the casa. What do you think? He glances between you and Claudia, watching to see who makes the first move. The way B holds your eye contact makes you think she's hoping to turn your head. Claudia looks down, not touching her drink. Liam lurches towards his drink, knocking it a little before taking a huge sip. Easy there. Easy there, lad. Had to be the first to sip, you know. Thought you would be. Sorry, B, you gorge, but I'm going to turn the most heads. What do you think, Skylar? You've caught my eye. You take a casual sip. You're turning heads, B, and Liam's for sure. Anyone else's, though? May have caught my eye. But that's all I'll say for now. Interesting. Claudia, your turn. B took it up a notch, so I will too. I'm going to stay loyal in Casa. Claudia gl glances around to see who will sip. Her eyes settle on you. I think you'll stay loyal. You'll stay loyal to Theo. I can feel it. <gasps> Robert, very good. Very, very good. You two have got too much history for your head to be spinning. Mm, I don't know. There's a lot to be tempted by. He looks at you pointedly. B brings her drink to her lips and then changes her mind. I see you, B. I'll level with you here. I just don't know. You and Theo are cute, but Casa Amor is calling to you. It is. It's made me question a lot of things. I wanted to see if actually anyone believed in me and Theo. I noticed that none of you boys sipped either. It's a difficult... Uh, bless your heart. Wait, how do I get into this accent? It's a difficult one for sure. I'll stick with the theme then. I'm in the strongest couple. You all exchange looks. Nobody sips. Why am I still holding this? Bless you, girl. Nobody's drinking to that. Look, she's got a little bit of uh, Sean about her. Exactly. Guess that's all the support I need to up my Casa Grafting game. No complaints, see ya. Scarlet, you're up. I'm gonna say... I can tie a cherry stem with my tongue. They are obsessed with this in Love Island. I can tie a cherry stem with just my tongue. I can definitely believe that I'm sipping. Nah, no way. I think I can, though. Can you actually, though, Luna? I've never done it. I'm just saying I bet I could with uh, practice. Kyle catches your eye with a flirty smile and sips slowly. I'm not catching the feels for Kyle. It's not happening. No! Absolutely not. Is it true then, Scarlet? Uh, it's true. I can. So, thank you to the one person who believed in me. That's what I'm saying. I'm lost for words. You're full of surprises, Scarlet. Are we done? I need a snack. Luna pulls you to the side and whispers in your ear. This game would be a good chance to actually make a proper statement. What do you mean? You know, be a bit flirty, cause an extra little chaos to take an extra turn. Give me some real competition in here, what do you think? No thanks. I think I'm good. I am just gonna 
Who passed these? No thanks, Luna. If Luna asks me to do anything, my answer is no. No problem, it was just a cheeky little idea. Also, can I just say, I have no idea in chat what the banana runts thing is about, but I'm glad you're having a good time. <laughs> Liz, I like the way you think. We can show Kyle the stereo a cherry stem trick to get our free tattoo. There's a lot less I would do for a free tattoo and a lot more too. It's gotta be snack time now. Hang on everybody, I want to take one more turn. It's a juicy one. I'm intrigued. Here we go then, glass is ready. B is closer to Tyler than Scarlet is. Are you serious right now, Luna? Well, I'm literally just having fun. It's a legit question. Maybe it is true. What on earth is going on? Maybe it is true. I don't know what's going on in Tyler's head. He's just trying to cause trouble, Scarlet. I'm not trying to do anything other than spice up the game a bit. You're both reading way too far into it. Oh, they're an American candy. I've never heard of them before, ever. What? Now I want to try them. Yeah, I've no I'd never heard of that before, Tear Song. B gives Luna a scathing glare and storms off. Good for you, B. I like B. Wait up, B. Liam scurries after her. Claudia rolls her eyes at Luna. The game was over. You really didn't have to make such a beefy statement. Wow, you all need to take a breather. It's not a big deal. As your eyes dart between Claudia and Luna, Kyle ushers you away. Come chat with me, Scarlet. We can chill together. Let everyone call off. Sounds good to me. Yes, please. I don't, I don't mind doing that. You settle down on the lounges with Kyle. I got a little bit awkward at the end there. Yeah, just a bit. That was a classic attention grab. What do you mean? Luna did that on purpose. She knew what she was doing. And she knew it would cause a scene. Why would she do that? Because the attention has shifted to you instead of her. Yeah, it was so obvious. I knew what she was doing. It's typical Luna. She couldn't just handle the spotlight being on me. Exactly, but I can see why she felt that way. It must be hard to try and steal attention from you, Scarlet. It was interesting to hear what you said during the game, though. Any time I find out about you is a win for... Any time I can find out more about you, it's a win for me. I love the idea of you getting sexy with a cherry. <laughs> I bet you did. You hear sounds of chatting from the villa. Liam cracked me right up with what he said on his turn. The hottest cast a boy. I don't think that boy's head could get any bigger if he tried. I love Kyle. I don't know why I had to shout that. I'm so sorry. He's all right, though. I think it's mainly a front. Liam is a clown. Um, yeah, uh, do you know what? I will say that. He's an absolute clown. No way is he making it back to the villa. Fair enough, your ob's not a fan. If Liam doesn't make it back to the villa, maybe I will. Kyle smiles at you. What are you smiling at? I'm just enjoying being here with you. I can't lie, you're one of the most stunning people I've ever met. I mean, come on, look at Scarlett. She is one of the most stunning people I've ever met. Like, she, look at her. Thanks, Kyle. I really mean it, you've seriously hooked me. I had no idea how things would be with you in person. But I couldn't have imagined it being any better than this. I love aggressive compliments, so shouting that you love Carl is entirely understandable. I'm glad. I love him. But we are playing a Scarlet, so we have to make her use of Sean first, if we'll put it that way. I agree with that. I couldn't agree more. The answer has been pretty great so far. I'm happy to hear you say that. And I may have lied a little just then. I actually think things could get even better than this. Kyle leans in closer to you. I'm so glad I got to meet you, Scarlet. I'm really feeling a connection. I am going to let him... Oh, I feel like holding my hand is more of a thing, but stroking my thigh sounds a bit more... Like, if I'm holding someone... I, I would hold someone's hand platonically, but I don't think I would let a platonic friend stroke my thigh. But I think what the game is trying to say is hand is like the biggest thing and then it gets less and less every time. I know what you mean, Robert. I know what you mean. I know what you mean. 
So, yeah, so Jack agrees. So I think for the game's sake, I'm going to say hold, hold your hand. But I think that actually it should be the other way around. I think that stroking your thigh should be at the top and then it should be hold your hand. Show him where the tattoo will go. Look at my thigh. I won't stroke my thigh on, on, on stream. I will not do that. That is not for YouTube. Thanks very much. <laughs> I think hand holding is a bit more romantic. I'm feeling a connection too. You reach out and Kyle takes your hand in his. I think this could become something pretty special. He gently strokes your hand with his thumb. Oh no, he can't turn... No! This can't be happening! This can't be happening! The softness of his touch feels tender on your skin. I can't wait to see where this goes. Kyle continues gently stroking your hand. Well, I can promise you one thing. What's that? I'll never be about the drama. This is a drama-free zone. Okay, hear me out a second. Hear me out a second. What if... Okay, now, seriously. Just hear me out. Just, just hear me out. What if... Scarlett and Kyle... Get, get together. And then... Um, Scarlett just makes the whole of the rest of the villa about... Um, making drama with Luna and all of the other... All of the other people in the villa because Kyle is really lovely and he deserves to actually be loved and and feel cherished and his head to be petted because he's really lovely and gentle and calm. hypothetically hypo hypothetically um. is that so Life's too short for petty arguments and messy history. You and I could be a clean slate, no drama, no baggage. You think that could be what you need? Yeah, you're exactly what I need. I mean, technically, most people who say they're not about the drama are the drama. That's so true, though. That's so true. Like a lot. He yeah, he deserves a tattoo as like a lot. You're right. You're right. Is this Ashley talking or Scarlett? Um, yes. Yes. <laughs> I think you might just be what I need. Kyle squeezes your hand in his. He bites his bottom lip as he looks you deep in your eyes. Oh, let's give him a snog. <laughs> Shouldn't you be kissing me right about now? I think I should be. He draws you closer and leans in, a smile dancing across his lips. What? Something else, you know that, right? Kyle, don't bring your Bobby energy into this. We're trying to do a villain run. You're so right, Joey. You're so right. Oh, no. Oh, no. Before you can answer, he kisses the words from your lips. Oh, sorry. I don't know what that noise was. Your lips come apart with a sigh and your tongues come together in a burst of passion. The warm night breeze caresses your arms as you tumble deeper into a kiss. Goosebumps pepper your arms when he finally pulls away. You're cold, Scarlet. You've got goosebumps. Maybe it was the kiss. I've got them too. The party music continues over by the pool. You know what? This has been my favourite bit of the party. What bit exactly? Just sitting here and chatting with you. My favourite person in Casa for sure. You hear laughter over by the pool. You look over and see Max dancing by the speakers. He's got the others dancing like they're at a rave. We should probably get back over there. We don't want to miss all the fun. You and Carl run over and rejoin the party. Come join us, Max has the, got the bangers going. Okay, I'm going to start a poll. Is Kyle the one for Scarlet? Yes or no? There you go. Answer the poll, please. Answer the poll, please. Thank you, Joey. Thank you, Joey. Um, come join us. Max has got the bangers going. How was it, Frozen Wolf? Was it good? I am pro Scarlet going soft for Carl. Me too. <laughs> Me too. You know it and no, I don't take requests. Boo. Was that enough O's? Luna dances up to Max and they start throwing shapes together. This is me throwing shapes. Woo! Claudia twirls into Sean's arms, giggling. Dancing without me? Shame on you. Yay, she's back. Couldn't miss the rest of the party. We'll chat in a bit, Luna. 
Carl turns to face you and holds out his hands. Dance with me, Scarlet. Okay. We're going to dance sexy with Kyle. Sexy. Drawing shapes is my favorite phrase. Why is it called that? Is it because you like do? Mission fail. We'll get him next time. Was that okay, Robert? Did I do good? I have to vote no only because of Scarlet's villain route. Hashtag don't hurt Kyle. That's true. But I promise you, Kyle is not getting hurt. It's either going to be we end things now or we don't end things you know what I mean? Like, I feel like Carl could be the way to the end. How about Carl Endgame? But that means we have to bring Carl to the villa and hope that he doesn't sit, like get with anyone else. And I don't think Ashley could take her heart being stolen by Kyle for him to get with someone else. You know what I mean? Dangerous question. I'm going to get you really hot. And that's a bad thing. Why? You step closer to Carl, rolling your body and throwing your head back. You turn so that your butt presses against him and you guide his hands slowly towards your hips. <laughs> What's that from? Tear song, I feel like that's a quote from something about a rhombus. In my mind, it's just pelting people with protractors and triangles. But I know it's dancing. No, no, no. You're definitely right, Joey. You're definitely right. You grind rhythmically, pulling his hands up your body. You're right. This is dangerous. All right, you amateurs, circle around me. Time to watch me do my thing. You all spread out around Liam and start clapping. Go okay, on, Liam, show him how it's done. He, he lurches into the middle of the circle and starts trotting about, throwing his arms in different directions. He thrusts his head forward and waves his up arms, his eyes popping with concentration. I always forget how to do the Georgian accent every single time. You have to. You have to. You have to. You have to. Okay, every single foul. Bird. So that everyone can hear what you say. Thank you. Yeah, because you have to talk real nice and slow. Yeah. <laughs> They don't talk fast down in Georgia. You want to do Sean's line for us? Oh, wow. That's unique. That's B. Your B's oh, voice. shit. <laughs> don't swear. <laughs> How rude. Unique. He's gone now. Bye. Did you steal my hair tie? No, you didn't. That's one word. That's one word for it. All I can say is yikes. Nah, don't listen to him, bro. You're the winner. Alfie, you're getting some... That's true, Alfie's in chat. <laughs> of what? I don't know where this is going, but Alfie is running with this Forrest Gump impression. <laughs> he's not even... He's not... He's just... He's not even talking anymore. The oh, southern... <laughs> I think you should run, Forrest, run! run. <laughs> the Medal for Pure Unfounded Confidence. I'll take it. Oh boy, I feel like it's my duty to teach him some moves at some point. You all group together and jump up and down, reaching your hands up to the sky and nodding your heads for the euphoric beat of the final song. I can't. I can't dance. I'm exhausted. Shall we meet you upstairs, girls? Good idea. We would want to, we want to catch up a little first. The boys head up off upstairs to get ready for bed. Are we still beef and bee? I'm still not a fan of your final juice bomb, if that's what you mean. Are we good, though? We'll be fine. Tomorrow's a new day. Gosh, I sound like my mum. Good, I'm ready for bed now, but I'm not planning on sleeping. Me and Max have some serious snogging to do. Oh, shout out, Liam. My head is definitely turning in here. Of course it is. You and Liam are really hitting it off. Who said I was talking about Liam? Luna looks confused as B sneaks a quick glance in your direction. Chat! Oh my gosh, 59% of you... Well, that's, that doesn't quite add up, does it? 59% of you say that we should make Kyle the one for Scarlet. I don't know, friends. Luna looks confused as B sneaks a quick glance in your direction. Who are you sharing with Scarlet? Oh, we can't even pick Sean. 
We can't pick Sean. Do we do we sleep with Kyle? Dark pole. Who should we sleep with? That's a weird one, isn't it? That's a weird one. Uh, Kyle. Uh, share. Is that Claudia? Claudia. Or maybe I'm sleeping alone. I kind of feel like maybe we should sleep alone in this situation. But like if I was playing on my own playthrough, I might say I'm sleeping alone because 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 <laughs> Duolingo in a red dress. I'm never going to be able to unthink that. I'm never going to be able to. No one voted to kiss Carl, and now we're all obsessed with him. It's so true. That is so true. Beef and B, that sounds like a Texas. Do you mean a Texas barbecue food? <laughs> it's because you said you were vibing with Carl. That's so true, isn't it? If you show interest with someone else, that's the option you get. I want the same option. I don't want to change it. You're so right, unicorns. A villain would definitely break Kyle's heart. I suppose what we could do is keep going the Kyle route and then we can decide whether we're going to break his heart or not. Do it for the plot! There's an option for bits. Excuse me just a second. It's going to end the poll right here. I'm going to share with Kyle. I bet he's up there waiting for you. Come on then, girls. Bedtime. The other girls are already dressed and getting into bed as you linger in the dressing room and decide what to wear. I think this one's really nice. I think we just go for this again. But let's put our hair in some plaits because we do love the plaits. I also would say let's take off the lipstick for bed. But then we don't even look like Scarlet anymore. So I think we have to keep the lipstick on. <laughs> I'm still a Carl denier or denier. Wait, we're Carl denier? No, I'm 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 kidding. You're a Carl denier. You know what? I get it, but I don't get it. You know, but I don't get it. Uh, Dorothy may have done some bits with Claudia. I like that. Did he tattoo us already? <gasps> Can I? Oh, I can't add it now. Okay, I'll have to add it between the next parts. Remind me at the beginning of the next one, Liz, if you're here. If you're not here, then remind me at some point when you're next here, please. Okay, this is the look. I love that my phone clearly knows we're about to do bits with Kyle because it's like, do not disturb. <laughs> okay. Oh, I will take a screenshot of this beautiful moment because I haven't taken any of this, uh, this part so far. So let me just do that. There we go. That was nice and easy. Okay, here we go. They don't even let Islanders read in the villa? Yeah, how did he? He smuggled one, okay? He smuggled a tattoo gun. Don't ask me where he was hiding it. Also, I would just say, um, I'm not gonna say your username because you know what happens when I say your username. But that sentence you've just said, I agree with. I agree with. A prison tattoo off, no, <laughs> no. You enter the bedroom to the sounds of gentle giggling and chatting. Everyone else is already snuggled up in bed. Hey there, gorgeous. I heard a rumour you wanted to share a bed with me. I did. What if those rumours weren't true? Would you be sad? I'd be devastated. That was not good. You slip into bed beside Kyle. Good job they were true then. Kyle oh, props up on one elbow to face you. So, what did you think of our winner's party then? I had fun and you're the main reason for that. I had a lot of fun, mainly because you were there. Oh really? You may have noticed I couldn't stop checking you out then. I saw your eyes on me. How do you feel about the game now? Like I said earlier, I think Luna just wanted to grab the spotlight. <laughs> I refuse! You knew what she was doing. You knew what she was doing. She doesn't phase me. I'm fine, she doesn't phase me whatever her intentions are. The game was fun. She, she was clearly having a messy moment. To be fair, I do feel like Kyle is having like, he says he's no drama, but he's kind of also like stirring a little bit. I know, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. Um. Also, Joey, I was just about to say that. Oh my gosh, how did you just read my mind? Joey has this thing, right? And I think a lot of us do. Well, I didn't until Joey 
pointed it out. But um, Joey, Joey sort of measures her, not always, but like a certain thing about someone based on how they look in short slash pajamas. I'm not going to go into it, but I will say it is exclusive solely to the men in Casa Amor and the villa so far. Uh, might not be going forwards, I don't know, but so far it's just just the male people uh, in the villa, and um, yeah. yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. It is right in our eye line. It's 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 right there, and I will say there's a lot of shadow. There's a lot of shadow. <laughs> no, yeah, Kyle stuffs, just like little little bits of Kyle stuff, you know. You know, I just wanted to make sure you were all okay about it. Anyway, no more game talk. <laughs> I'm thinking our first proper one-on-one -on -one chat. I really felt a vibe with you. For real. I told you I'm a straight up guy. I don't just say things for the sake of it. Sexual tension between the two of you deepens. I want your lips on my... Oh, well, if I'm being told. Kiss me then. <laughs> so kiss me. I'll pause you in close placing his hand on your lower back and gently stroking up and down your spine. His lips find yours easily in the low light of the room. The tenderness of his kisses pushes the two of you deeper into your own bubble. Nothing matters anymore, just the sensation of his touch. Don't you dare stop, Kyle. Kyle pulls at the covers over your head, hiding you away from the rest of the room. He kisses you harder and deeper, lips trailing off to press against your neck, your cheekbones. One hand travels down your body, cupping your breasts gently as his other hand falls down, reaches down to pull your leg over him. The two of you sigh with passion. His fingers brush the inside of your thigh, lighting a fire inside of you. You guide his fingers to where you need him to be, nipping his lips gently, both of you moaning together. He starts... This is very... Hmm. He starts slow, your body moving and grinding in response to his touch. He knows what he's doing, but you're impatient. You want it faster. He understands your desire and builds the pressure, the speed, until you're writhing with pleasure. He's just changing our toothbrush set. That is all it is. You throw your head back and gasp as he takes you over the edge. He fixed my toothbrush. Sparks of bliss lighting through the ho your whole body. You snuggle up to one another. Good night, beautiful. This is blush. <laughs> Good night. You wake up in the middle of the night to sounds of whispering. B and Luna are standing one by, by one of the beds and you hear them both name drop you and Tyler. I don't know how to tell Scarla. Do you want my advice? Let's take this out on the terrace, Luna. Or we're gonna wake everyone up? They sneak away. You delicately slip out of bed and follow them, curious to know what they're saying about you. You step out onto the terrace. And Scarlet is. He notices you. Scarlet! Oh gosh, this uh looks bad. Why is my name in either of your mouths? Why is my name on either of your lips? It's getting old. I'm sorry, Scarlet, we weren't trying to gossip about you, I swear. I just asked B a question, that's all, <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> I'm going back to bed. This isn't even to do with me. Please, can you let me explain? Does it cost gems? It's about when Tyler left the villa. I know you didn't want to chat about it before, but I really think you should hear it now. Yeah, no, you were right. It was 29 gems at the end. I'm going back to bed. Are you sure, Scarlet? I really think you want to hear this. It might change the way you... Approach Casa. No. No. Really, I'm just going to get some rest. Because I wasn't resting before. <laughs> okay, Scarlet, you do you. I'm really sorry to disturb your sleep. I hope we're good though, Scarlet. I... Your conversation trails off as the sounds of a loud, excited female moans drift out onto the terrace. What the? That sounds like... Luna. You hear her yell out a name in pleasure. Oh, Kyle.
Luna is moaning Kyle's neck. Please tell me she's in the bathroom. I hope she's in the bathroom. I hope she's she's by herself in the bathroom. That's what I will say. Luna moaning Kyle's name. In case you're wondering, yes. Yes, I have made a girl moan my name like that before. The candles were lit, classical music was playing, and I was filing her end of year tax return. I'm a freak in the spreadsheets. Join us next time on Love Island for more Casa Chaos. I am not happy. Yeah, she's probably getting a new tattoo. I think she's probably getting on with Max and said the wrong name. I hope so. I hope so. Because if that is not the case, then I am very sorry, but... That's it, Scarlet. Anyway, everyone. <laughs> anyway. Oh, Joey. <laughs> she didn't name, she didn't moan Claudia's name. Oh my goodness. Kyle would never do that. That's what I feel. I feel like there's no way Kyle would do that. I feel like, bye forever, are you okay, Robert? I feel like I, I just don't know how I feel about that man. Oh, just bye for now, see you soon. Thank you. I don't know how to feel about this. I feel like, I feel sad. Scarlet would be like, I tell you what Scarlet would do. Scarlet would run in there and she would not even think twice before like grabbing Luna by the shoulders and throwing her off um, and then like punching Kyle and then just leaving the villa probably. No, she probably wouldn't do that. She'd probably just stand there, watch until they noticed her and be like, are you quite done? Luna, you massive snake. Yeah, FBI, open up. Wait, can I do something? Look, ready? Yeah, I can knock on the imaginary. There was so much drama there. There's so much drama there. And we have to wait a whole other week. Whole other week. Did you enjoy today's episode, everyone? Did you enjoy it? Thank you so much, everyone, for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate it. Uh, special thanks to people who don't usually hang out all the way. I really appreciate you. And special special thanks to the people who always, always hang out all the way. Um, don't judge me for, <laughs> for that. Genuinely had me impressed. I'm not judging. Only in a good way. I thought someone was at the door. <laughs> Look, I just have one talent and it's knocking on air. My one talent in life. <laughs> oh... It was a mouth cheating on Oakley for you. Oh no. Oh no. But that knock genuinely had me impressed. Thank you, Joey. Do you know what? I get it. I get it. Autocorrect does definitely have a time and um, it is what it is really. Is that it happens? Thank you so much, everyone. If you enjoyed this and you want to hang out with me more, please come over to my Twitch tomorrow from 12 p.m. GMT. So that's now. But in 13 and a half hours, I think, we are playing Hades on my Twitch channel. It's going to be good. Joey, I hope you can be there. I hope you're not working. But if you are there, if you are working, I hope you can catch the what if not. But we're going to do some Hades. It's my favorite game at the moment. It means I can go and smash some things and hopefully finish that game. We're so close to the end. See you as 24 sleep in chat. I'll see you there, Joey. If not, that's absolutely fine. I know you've got work to do. But also, thank you so much and everyone else who I see over on Twitch. I really appreciate you all so much. I cannot tell you how much. I love you being here, don't get me wrong, but if I see names in Twitch chat, I'm like, so happy. Goodbye, balls. That's all you get. That's all you get. <laughs> thank you for duty. I appreciate you. I will see you all soon in the next one. Thank you so much. Oh, what are you doing at 3 p.m., Joe? No, you don't have to tell me. You do want to tell me. I will see you soon. Thank you so much. I'm so glad, Kelsey. That makes me feel so happy. Bye, Marie. Bye, Ethan. See you soon, Dylan. Goodbye, balls, my dog said once upon a time. No, not the balls. <laughs> see you soon, everyone. Bye, balls. Bye, Patootie. You do get a goodbye. You do. You deserve a goodbye. 
Thank you so much, everyone. My amazing mods, uh, Mike, Alfie, and Joey, for being here today. I really appreciate you. Uh, bye, Danny. See you soon. I'm going to go onto my end screen. Please, if you haven't considered becoming a member of the channel already, please do. It would be amazing because it means that you can see content sooner. I've got the next Love Island video up already that's going out on Monday and I'm going to upload the next next week's one after this stream. So you will see it tomorrow probably if you're a member. Thank you so much everyone. I appreciate you lots and I will catch you in the next one. Bye friends!